We thank you all for coming. Our service will be starting at exactly midday, which is in 10 minutes' time. When the bodies move down, we will start our program. We hope to make it very, very quick. We are aware of the time uh, and the situation for most of us. So we'll try to make this as fast as possible, cognizant of the fact that this is a very, very painful time. We're going to see how to manage this situation best. So um, I request that we try to help each other when the family comes. Let's try to create some space for them. It's already hard enough as it is, so let's try to make it uh, a bit better. Again, thank you for coming, and may God be with you all. Kogere, Kogere, wherever you are. All those that may have messages of condolence, 
You can please bring them over here. Uh, they are being collected by Dr. Mugabo. So any messages that you might not have delivered yet to the family in writing or otherwise, please deliver them uh, right here. And we will receive them. from inside with the bishop and the choir. Choir, thank you. Thank you, choir. Let's just hold on a bit. Felix, Felix with the saxophone. Where are you, Felix?
So many of us, we have additional tents which have uh, TVs just behind there. So if, if there is no space in this main tent, please the, the rest of us can sit uh, at the back. There is there, there's space and there are also screens, so you will not miss out on anything. It will appear that the space in this tent is, is full. So. tent behind and the tent to my right back sitting
younger children, maybe you can give space to the older ones. who are seated, if you have a seat next to you, just keep moving up, displacing one position so that we create space for others. We have so much space and we have so many pockets of empty chairs, so let us move towards one side and provide space for others, because as you can imagine, we are so many people. Page Terekele rokuzika abantu abafire bateha kai na kanisa rukwa hakana rhanga alpapora viri nekienda umchoksaba ninyo wakumbuka no bomezi nukwa gamba mukama waitu anya kuikiriza nyowe no baba afire aliomera kando wena anya kuomera na nyikiriza talifu mirobiona mani nento mchunguzwanga ikaraho kando inti aliomera hans hampero. Oruro mbirguango lukamara kuperekera Baitu hatalibu mbirguangi Ndurora hanga Oundirora habuangi na maisogango Ugarirora kunitaliondi 
Yubo na agamba angu tukatalete kintu mwusi Kati kisoboka kuyuhamu e kintu Mukama akampa Kana mukama ihireho Ibarali ya mukama lisimu Zabuli e Yekienda Mituena ntukisoma ntukiende rahamu Mukama iu wakabu wali kiyo kuikara mkia itu Obisinge buona E nsozo obisikaba zitaka zairwe Na iu wataka hangile viz Okurugo obisinge buona Okuiko obisinge buona Ni uoro hanga Osinde kabanto mkwere kera No gamba angu Mugaru keyo inyo abana babanto Baitu ya miakaru kumyo maiso gawe Eri nkekeje kingu ileho Kani kekisimu kekekiru Obatu warakimu nko mgezi Bali nko oturo Nyeki ya bali nko mnyaso buaruka Nyeki ya buaruka bumera Ruwebaji obtemwa buhotoka Baitu ya kinagaki yao kitumarahu Kano kubiru wa kuwa kutuntuza Ukate ya biokusisa vya ito maiso gawe Ebi vya ito ya biensta umusano kwa maiso gawe Baitu ya vya ito viona vihingurahu kwa kinagaki yao Emiaka ya ito ya huwa unke kitekelezo Ebi vya miaka ya ito ni yo miaka nsanju Urundi obu amani ni hike miaka kinani Baitu ya mihembo yayo ni kukutalivana ni kutuntura kuonka Ni huwa hubu angu na ito tuhera Oha manjira amani kwa kinagaki yao no kubiru wa kuwa unko obisemeri wa kutinu Otuwe jeso kubara tuti ya virobi ya itu Niko tungo mitumo kwa magezi Ogaru keyo ayi mukama Olihiki ya ankaha Kando yizukie kubaba irubawu Otuwe kuseo kwa uganyara kuwawe Ito tusemeri wege Tukianga nukege virobi ya itu biyona Otusemeze nke viro kubiri ya mtu asari rizibu emu Nye miaka yutu waba inu ya mububu Omili mwagwawe gururu waba irubawe Nekiti nsaki yao hali yaba anabawe Kandu oburungi buwa mkama ruhanga wa itu, buikalege hali itu, kandu otugumize emirimo ya mkono ya itu. Ego, emirimo ya mkono ya itu, ojigumi. Ekitinsa kiba hali situe, na hali omwana, na hali omoya alukwela. Nuko kikaba kiri kana kara, nuko kiri hatubuni, nuko kiri wa, eviro na eviro, amina. Laka tuikare, tusomerwe, ekitweke, kikomerwe, abo kusende kereza, bagezi wa itu. Ekichwe kakenya kumiru wa nikisangwa Omubarumi Esuli ege yomunana Mtu ija kutanda kanurukara Uruwa satu na rumu Kikeza kimu harukara Uruwa satu na muenda The reading is taken from Romans Chapter 8 Beginning from verses 31 To 39 Nuko tulagamba tuta Hali ebi Uruhanga obwabala habwa itu Araha omunyazi kwa itu Ataraimire omwana uwe wenka Obwa itu Akamuhayo habwa itu ituena Talituha mkuo muenda Ebi yuntu viona hamu nawe Araha alirega abakome baruhanga Uruhanga nuwe Aiha humsango Araha alitu humsango Kristo Yesu Nuwa ya fili Ego nukukira Aka humburwa umubafu Anyakula hamukono Gobulio ugwarhanga Kare na tunga nira Araha alitubaganiza Umukugonza kwa kwisto Bujuni Rundi mihitu Rundi okuhiganizibwa Rundi enchara Rundi okuba kuonka Rundi akabi Rundi empirima Mkukuchahandi ikiru yungu Habu wawe tuitua okuiza obwiri. Tuterekelezebwa nkientame zo kuitua. Baitu habuwebi biona mtusinguru rakimu. Omuogwa ya tugondeze. Baitu nyowe nyetegerize kimu nti. Nubu wakuba okufa. Nubu wakuba obumezi. Nubu wakuba abamalaika. Nubu wakuba abobusobozi. Nubu wakuba ebiroho. Nubu wakuba ebi ebi kugenda kubahu. Nubu wakuba ebi amani. Nubu kwa kuba okuraiha, nubu kwa kuba okuhama, nubu kwa kuba ekangiri wa chiona ekindi, tebili sosobora, okubaganiza itwe, hakugonza, omukugonza kwa rhanga okunyakuli wa mkwisto, mukama wa itu. Ekitweka au nukia agarukera.
leka rutwebe mbira mu program ayizatwale kitweka na tasio mumbazo no kutahibyakyo ne mbazo mutyo muno abikanisa ya bhesi mitsima ne sitwe mu ruhanga the right reverend bishop kisembo amoti kandi al mwana wiki yenu webale kuija na mgo wa waboli abona boys rena uh, <coughs> this is a very 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 difficult situation it beats understanding and uh, we are going to try to make this as painless as possible especially for the family because you can imagine what they are going through one of the ways we are going to do this is that we are going to make this very, very quick. Because it is a tragedy in the most inconvenient time for everybody. So we are alive to the fact that you have to return. We know the state of the road. We know that it's the beginning of the year. But this is the time that this chose to befall this family. But we shall deal with it and we will be quick. The Mugamba family, in whose name I will be speaking this afternoon, would like to thank you most sincerely for the support. It has been overwhelming. Your presence here, the numbers, they're overwhelmed and they're thankful. I've also been asked to recognize each and, any, and every one of you. There are so many important people here and I'm going to request that you allow me not to recognize person by person because you are too many. You are all important. This is a big family. It has far-reaching tentacles professionally, as a family, through marriage, through clan, through relationship. Everyone has been affected by this. So there's so much to be said. There are so many questions that we want to ask, but these questions have no answers. It's like asking why the sun rises when it does. There's no answer. So we will take what is, and we'll try to be as strong as we can. Our, our speeches will be few and short. We are doing this because the family needs time. So whoever is going to speak, we already had this discussion. Please let us make it quick. Abe Kanisa Weitu, Amoti Yuti Nsoku Habatiaka Rundi Varagiro, Weitu Ninye Sengereza Kuonka, Ngu Tuinaku Obwire Tuinabo, Na Weke Wintu Kukora Juba Juba, so, uh, we'll begin our program with speeches. The first speech will be from a friend. I think Clive, if you're around, please prepare to come. Then the siblings will speak. The, the three of them will speak. We have agreed. We'll have two other quick speeches from uh, cousins. One from uh, Brian Mwangale. You have two minutes, and also from Mukama Andrew, you have two minutes. Let's make it quick. Other people will talk in broad terms. So without wasting much time, I'd like to invite Clive, wherever you are. You're going to come and speak on behalf of the friends. Clive will be followed by MacGyver, who will speak for the siblings. MacGyver will be followed by Malcolm who has a poem and a few words. And all of these are basically encapsulating a discussion of all the children and they have agreed a position. So when they speak, they speak for all. And we'll have a eulogy from Zoe. Okay. My apologies. In my haste, I had jumped the program. We will have wreaths first before we go to the uh, speeches. So that gives the people to speak time. So uh, one, the funeral services gentleman with a list of wreaths, please bring it to me. In the meantime, we'll request, uh, we're going to have our first wreath from the siblings. Siblings, wherever you are, please come to the front. You'll walk towards the other way and then come round and exit here. So you walk towards the other side.
As you can imagine, we've received so many reads. So in the interest of time, I'll go, I'm going to read through most of them. If I don't read yours, please come and uh, let us know. This list will be handed to the family, so at the time, they will also be able to look through them and maybe communicate with you directly. We have received a wreath from the Mugenji family, a wreath from the entire Bianyema family, the Shalita family, the Kaliegera family, uh, Sarah Katabarwa, Rotary Club of Kampala Springs, Nancy Vainom Gisha, Musungu family, Ndaula Joffrey and family, General Tumukunde, Stephen Kaboyo and family, Amochi Kage and family, the Namara family, Honorable Captain Babu and family, the Mwezi children, Padre Pio Insurance, Ambrosoli International, Carla Resida. We thank you so much for the expression of your love. The next wreath from the family will be laid by the Rokakoko family. Vamukaka Nava Nava Isen Kuruvana, Rokakoko. We ask you also to come and place your wreath. Pulli Gafabusa, Tebe, also Jose Jefferson Riz. Jonathan Mugerwan Florence. We have a read from Stan Big Bank. From Arnold Vezida. The Vitature family. The Kavaza family. Professor David, Mrs. Debbie, Andrew, Baki, and Sanyu. Kayonka Yvonne and Christine. Yunkap team. Gaf Consultants Uganda Limited. Honorable Mike Sebalu, Katuramu and Ravoni families, Kaduru, Kaduru Zabarwengoma, the Kasami family of Gumura Farm, Believe It MC, Jeremiah and the Omino family, the Wakaikara family, Dan and Rachel Kaboyo. The Mukienga family, the Sabiti family, Uganda Communications Commission, the Nyaika family, the Kangaho family, James and Sarah Kuluvia, friends of the family, the Nyanga family, the family of the late Metsera Karamagi Arali, Mr. and Mrs. Chad Nyakairwan family, and the Fort Mosel staff. We thank you so much. The next wreath will also be laid by the grandparents, the Rakihembo family. Please come forward. The Rakihembo family here represented by Amoti Banad Rakihembo and family. Please come and place the wreath for Akiki who is not here. The family of the late William Luwemba Apuli, Aga and Aisha Sekalala and family, Ntebe Club, Princess Katrina Sanga, Rubombora family, Architects Registration Board, Masem Jungu Kagoro Njeri and Sarah, Kankia family, Ndagano family, Standard Chartered Bank, Quizera family, Nyakana Adieri, Rainbow International School, Friends, Rotary Club of Muyenga, uh, Umbito Daniel, Atwoki, and family, Ogeni, this is Anna, thank you for your wreath. Tendahende Chire family, Pro Plan and Partners, Akikir Gumayo and family, Mr. and Mrs. Glenn. Shunubi, the Makulima family, the Alikai family, Bank of Uganda, 
the Gava family, retired Justice Link, the Mugambua family, we thank you all for that ex those expressions of love. Next, I would like to invite Mavoli and Auntie Judy, Mugamba, parents, please come and lay your wreath. Parents of Tara and Ellie will be followed by Amoti, Randa and Akiki. Please come and also lay your wreath. Amoti, Uncle Manuel, Kiki. We also have a message from Bridget and Dennis in Kojo, in Canada. We thank you for your read of your message. Retired Justice Link, Kawuchichi family, RSM Eastern Africa, Katende Sempewa, Dr. Kagoro, Kajamuruvi Arali and family, the Toro crew, the Muganwa family, we thank you. We have one from the French school, Lugogo Tennis Club, retired General John and Mrs. Hope Mujeni, the Kakiza family, the family of the late Oyo Rwakatale, Jordan Wagamba, Atro Engineering, Dr. Tindiewa, Mrs. Mary Simpson Mpanja, Ini Ruchikere, Major General Jim Mwezi and Susan, Alfred and Sandra Yivinjira, Birunji family, or Winnie family, the Theo family, Mr. and Mrs. Semogerere, and the Rakembo family. We also have a wreath from Lok Telecom, the Matalanga family, and the Bianima family. We thank you very much, all of you, for those wreaths. These are the wreaths that I have received so far, 101 in total. I'm sure there are so many that are coming. If yours has not been read, the, 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 we will pass on the list to the family, so they will have a time to internalize and look through each and every one of them. So it's not out of... And Chamber Gain and Company, thank you very much for your wreath. Com Engineering as well. We thank you. So that concludes the wreath laying. If there is any wreath that you have not had, please pass it on to us, and we shall manage it from this side. We will now go straight into the speeches. Before we go into the speeches, Ninja Kusabe Kanisa, Neyebemberwa Isitwe, Murhanga, the Right Reverend Bishop, Ksemba Moti, Neweje, Nawawe, Nawoli, Moteho, Kiaki. You send the Kerza Banavitu against Vitu Atovitu. Thank you.
kanisa wa baraba na mara nija kusaba mkurusi wetu amoti justice ugamba ali kandi mkuru wekien aje ateho kiakio kio kumalizi we also have greetings from Kane Brown and family Kaya Kavuma Mary Kamari Amoti ni tutangira Take yaki Thank you very much. Uh, now we will hear from the friends represented by Clive. Good afternoon, everyone. Thank you all for being here to celebrate the lives of Tara, Ellie, and Yurek, who meant so much to all of us. My names are Clive, Butterengaya Wavamuno. Some may also call me Mugamba, as I'm sure there are many friends here who feel the same way. I have been living with Ellie in Amsterdam for the last year and a half, but our friendship stretches far beyond that. I remember being several years younger, maybe 14, 15. And almost every day of the school break, I would wake up in the morning, skip breakfast, skip a shower, find Tendo, Kafero, and make our way to Ellie's home. There, he would take care of us. And this was his nature, as was the nature of Yurik and Tara. Ellie and I took a lot of pride in supporting each other through difficult moments. He was my partner in prosperity. I would now like to ask all the friends of Ellie, Yuri, and Tara to stand where they are at their seats. Anyone who's had the opportunity to know them very closely. I think it is quite troubling and, and very painful that many of our friends couldn't make it here today. Words are simply not enough to describe the beautiful souls that we lay to rest today. As we say goodbye to Tara, Ellie, and Yurik, let us remember all the joy and love they brought into our lives and strive to carry their legacy of being kind and compassionate to others. You will always be in our hearts and we will always cherish the memories we shared with you. Rest in peace. Thank you, Clive. And friends, uh, again, ladies and gentlemen, please allow me to apologize. There's so much that these children have to say, but again, we're trying to manage time. 
So it's not out of, of disrespect, but it's, it's, uh, it's being cognizant of the situation that we are currently in. Uh, I would now like to invite the siblings. I invite the siblings, please come. Thank you for coming. Thank you for being with us today and for the past couple of days. I don't know. I don't know if you can put in words really how much how much my brothers and sisters mean to me and to us. I don't think even being here, I don't think I have fully digested what this means. It keeps slowly dawning on me and with every phone call and text I realize just how far the love that Ellie and Tara and Yurik had went, how many people they touched, how many people knew them, loved them, and were loved by them. Yurika Kabalmwana Murung. Yurik was a good child, the way you hear, a good child. We were talking with Brian and Brenda yesterday and MacGyver about how, even when we came through to Wigamiro together, Yurik wasn't someone who you had forced to bathe. You didn't have to chase him and make him do the things that he knew he had to do. He did them, and he did them without complaint. It was the same with staying in touch with people and making time for them and being intentional about it. He stepped up and made this and the last couple of Christmases very special and memorable. It was very intentional about bringing us together. Now, Ellie, for me, didn't like bathing as a kid. One thing about Ellie is he was very much himself without apology, and he lived in the faith that he was loved for who he was, whether what or what. He was gentle, calm, and unflappable. Ellie was my young brother, but seeing his relationship with Zoe and Tara, with his parents, his little brothers, his friends, and with himself, he was a man wise and empathetic beyond his years. He loved to live his best life. I think his sense of style and his love of good music and art his dedication to his family was a testament to that, and it was indeed a life well lived. Tara taught us so much. She carried a heavy load, but she lived and she loved. Her heart and her mind were one. Tara Montana, our star. Intelligent, empathetic, principled, poetic, honest, and without knowing it, often very hilarious. I hate that you left us as you seem to be finding your stride and living out your truth, guys. But I celebrate the beautiful song that it was. I hate that all you guys have gone so young, but I can never dishonor you by saying that you didn't live your full lives. You are gone, but you live on in all of us, in all of us that you touched. We are who we are in some way because of you. Everybody here knew these people differently. We had very different relationships with them. But let us honor them and keep their spirits alive with our actions. We mourn because we have loved and we have lost. Let us remember that love and in time pray that it brings us joy even as it might now bring us pain. Thank you very much for being with us. Thank you all for coming. Um, there's so much to be said and you know it's hard to compress every sibling's feelings into into one so I'll just summarize with two and then I'll give a general overview from the family so um, this is from uh, Edward Mugamba oh, my name is MacGyver Mugamba and these, these are my siblings. So Edward uh, sent a brief one. Akiki Tara, Amot Eli, Amot Yurik. This is so, so difficult to express in words. I love you and I always will. The weight of anguish, acceptance, and anger is a heavy load to bear. 
it was a privilege and a gift to know the three of you. And Judy, and Diane, and Uncle Emmanuel, and Uncle Davy, Viola, Zoe, Victor, Jed. Our hearts are utterly shattered for you as siblings. We so badly want to comfort you, and we cannot imagine your pain. We love you now. Yuri, Eli, and Tara will look to the skies. And the stars will always remind us of you. We loved you then, we love you now. We love you always. Shine bright up, shine bright up there. We can see you. Then Micah, Eli, Tara, and Eric were all good souls who did nothing wrong. My one wish is for them to rest easy and in peace like they deserve. God bless. So um, on behalf of my siblings, I would like to begin by thanking everyone that is here today. And for those that have sent their condolences, we are eternally grateful. We have received countless phone calls, emails, texts, visits, thoughts, and support, both financial and emotional. We cannot thank you enough. The life given to us by nature is short, but the memory of a life well spent is internal. To my siblings, there can be no goodbyes for us. It really would be too painful to bear, for our connection still lives on. Although you are far from here, it's hard to believe that you're gone. Oftentimes, in the past few days, I've had to call the numbers, hoping that one of you would pick up. But alas, there was no response on the other side. It feels like a nail being driven through the heart. It stings. We do miss the times that we once had, the plans we had made out, the vision that our children should stay united, and the message of love, of humility, of respect for every single human being, irrespective of who they are, being passed on from generation to generation. But one day, we will hold you close and laugh with you. For each moment till then, we shall miss you more than words can say, and we shall always think of you. We we'll look for you among the stars and whisper words of love to you, but we shall never say goodbye. We are comforted by knowing that what we once enjoyed and deeply loved, we can never lose for all. For all that have loved and have loved deeply, that love becomes a part of us. In conclusion, you are the best siblings to look up to, to admire, to be proud of, to hold, and to cry with. Yurik, we had uh, an alley there where um, the adults would always send us to pick things. Yurik was always walking past there. Same as Eli, same as Tara. The rest of us would go and hide, hoping that we wouldn't be sent. But when we'd come back, there'd be someone to send you. So that explains the love that they had. Even though I'm talking on behalf of the siblings, and although sometimes we wander off, or zone off, remembering the good times, our mind, my mind, knows that you're in a better place, where there's no pain and you're all at peace. I understand that we all do. I just wish we could explain it to our hearts. There's an empty space in it that nothing will ever fill. Our love will always be with you. Salu, we love you. Um, hello, everyone. Thank you all for coming and supporting us in truly a nightmarish tragedy that I honestly can't even put to words. Um, but sadly, it's, it's a reality and it's really happening. I had a lot of things that I wanted. I wrote down about all of them, Ellie, Yurik, and Tara, but <laughs> they're just too many memories and 
I'm blessed that I'm able to hold those memories in my heart. And I've been able to have such beautiful memories with all of them. Firstly, I'm blessed to have been around Yurik, who is such a beautiful, beautiful soul, intentional soul, always willing to show us love, always willing to talk to us, because we were much younger than him. He used to always talk to us and always hang out with us and intentionally spend time with us, especially when we're here. He used, when we were kids, he used to play like Power Rangers with us and he used to, we used to jump all over him and he used to be very okay with it when the older siblings used to get tired of us. He used to just stay with us all the time. Um, as he went to uni, he still kept, every time he came, he made sure to take us out for ice cream, take us out for food, take us to a movie, always included my younger cousins, Micah, with us and everyone. And he just always made us feel loved and comforted. I'll never forget uh, going out with him in general. Every time I'd get quiet, he'd just rub my back and just be like, are you okay? He'd always want to like help you and be with you and never want any, uh, you'd never need anything back in return. He was just happy to help. Um, Viola and Yurik's relationship in general is just so beautiful. Us guys always saw it and saw it as a beacon. They were idols, honestly. And I'm blessed to have witnessed such a beautiful relationship. And it helped me and, me and Ellie and Tara seeing such a beautiful relationship. It helped us because we, it helped us to be more intentional with each other. It helped us to just show each other more love in general and to tell each other that we love each other. Because as kids, sometimes you think, oh, they're just your siblings. Siblings are annoying. You fight all the time. But then I remember my dad used to, my dad told us that one day you guys are all going to go your separate ways to school, to boarding school, to university, and you won't spend as much time with each other. And after we all went our separate, separate ways to boarding school and everything, we, we really realized how special our relationship is and really try to tell each other more how much we love each other. Um, there's so many things, so many stories I could say, but I don't know, this trip in specific, I would say that Ellie was always trying to just be more intentional with everything, showing us intentional with his love for us, intentional with understanding us and talking to us and talking to everyone. I remember the day before his passing, he literally came up to me and told me that man, this holiday has been so great. I've been able to talk to all the aunties, spend time with all the aunties, spend time with all the cousins, spend time with all the uncles, and spend time with the parents more, and everyone more. And he was just so excited to go to Ntungamu to spend time with our grandparents and to see everyone. And he was just so intentional in, in just showing us so much love. And he always wanted, he never wanted to like, he just saw us for who we are, flaws and all. And he never wanted us to pretend with him. He just wanted to, to push us to, to do well and to do better. <sighs> Tara, Tara, man. I spent every day with Tara for like the last, since March. And yeah, I guess spending time with each other was, I guess it was beautiful because we have all these memories together. I have so many memories of her. Just so many small things, I can't even put them into words right now. But yeah, Tara had just a heart of pure, pure, pure gold, pure light. And she would always just want to show you light. And she, even though she was younger than me, she would always protect me. And she'd always want to, she'd always like help me if I ever felt like, because sometimes I feel very, when I'm feeling very quiet or very reserved, she would always like stand up for me and she was always doing that for everyone who loved her. She always stood up for them, always wanted to make them feel at home and happy. And she'd, every time she'd lend someone something, she'd just be like, oh, you can keep it. It looks better on you anyway. And she, she just she had the most open, caring, caring heart. And she just loved so much. And she just always wanted to make you feel, everyone feel like part of the family. And I'm blessed with the people I have now who are helping me get through such a tough, tough time, all the friends and family that, all the friends and family that Ellie and Tara brought, and yeah, I'm, I just feel blessed, and yeah, maybe we'll make it out of this 
really, really hard time. Um, yeah, I feel very blessed to have known them and to have been around them. It sucks that uh, they were so they were about to do such good, good things. And yeah, I just it's just really, really sad. But I know for a fact that they're happy where they are. They're together. They're dancing. They're playing amazing music together. I can just hear their laughs, see their smiles, and I just take solace in that. <sighs> yeah, thank you. Good afternoon, everyone. Um, you guys so much. Ellie, Tara, Yurik, we love you. Thank you, the siblings. Victor had wanted to say something, but I don't think he's found the energy. But personally, I'm comforted by one thing. I know how close these guys are to each other. These children really, really, really love each other. It's amazing. I think the, 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 the lower the generations go, the, the, the more the love is. Because the higher the generations, the worse the love. I don't think I love my siblings this much, but these guys are, are really inspirational. And uh, I'm going to request all of you guys, the elder guys, uh, Malcolm, MacGyver, you need to stand in the gap that has been left. You really need to be there for Zoe. Very much. She's going to have a hard time. And even when Viola gets well, you must stand in that, that gap and be the siblings that they have lost. It's going to be tough. But it is what it is, and we will deal with it. Um, at this juncture... Uh, I would like to invite, we have one, one speech that has come from His Excellency the President, which had not been on the program, but I would ask you to allow me to invite Honorable Jim Mwezi to give us a few words from His Excellency. Is he here? All right, I've been advised that he'll speak a bit later, so uh, we will continue with the, with the program. Hati Tujakuru Gambo, Rundi Urvazorwa, Abam Kaka, Nabi Senkuru. We shall first hear from the Rakakokos, Uncle Eli, and uh, Auntie, please come and speak for the grandparents. They'll also be followed by the Rakembo family, which will be represented by Amoti Bernard Rakembo, also grandparents. Uh, D, uh, DJ, give us another microphone, please. I'm not here to give a speech, but I want to 
tell you about the goodness of God. The Bible tells us that we keep prepared. On the 30th, I left home as I was after the Jenny recovery, after Mbarara in the village called Sanga. You can imagine to leave home, going to attend the wedding. I was not prepared. So this told me what the, the Bible tells us, that we have to be prepared all the time. When I was in the wedding, the Kinjira, I saw Champaira came to me, said, please come out. I didn't know what she wanted. I went out. I found the Julians and others waiting for us. They told me the news that Tara and uh, had an accident. I thought it was an accident. They didn't tell me the truth. I said, okay. I left the Nargavjin. Musasra, I have to mix the language because these young ones don't understand Nyankore. And I have our mix for you guys. Then, when I was in the car, the Julians, I had their own car, was my, I had my car. <sighs> on the way, they called me, crying, crying. That mommy, I don't know what to do. <sighs> come. I thought, I thought, I was in Barara. I didn't know how to come. It was around four. <sighs> but God is faithful. Thank you, Susan. Thank you. Thank you, Jim. These people, I will never, never forget what you did. I got a, a lift from Jim. She took me to Kampara. I, I arrived at the right time. Her bodies were in Mengo. I managed to see Yurik and Eri. I didn't see Tara. I think that body was. You'll forgive me. I'll cry, but I'll speak. It's okay. I want to thank God for the gift of family and friends. Thank you, friends. We wouldn't have managed without you. I found people, many people in Mengo at the home, the funeral home. Thank you, thank you. I found many people. I'm very sorry I was a mess, but I had to. I want to ask you people, don't put your hopes in children. When I gave birth, I was young. I didn't have time for my children. But I thank God for the grandchildren. I love you, you people, very much. And they do love me, and they show me love. They tell me everything, they are close to me. Uh, the after Christmas of uh, 2021, my um, Eli is a person full of surprise. She, he, and Tara and, Jos and Zoe came to surprise us in Tungam. They got a car, drove. Like around at night, we saw them coming. And they wanted to do it on the fifth of this month. Again, surprise us. Because Ed could not go back without seeing us. I want to thank the family of Mugamba. Thank you so much for being our family. Thank you so much for loving us. Thank you so much for being with us. That Manuel and Diane. I know Vaira is alive, and he, she will be alive. We pray for her. I'm praying for you guys. I know you are, you are, you, are, you will be strong. David and, and Judy, Zoe, Victor, Jade, I'm, I'm here for you, always. Please. 
Nyenda kwa gambla, David Judy, Diana, and Sora Mazina and Gargumut. Nyenda kwa gambla ngu, abana haba bajinsiri, I want to ask you kindly to be friends. Be friends. Talk about them. Talk about the good things you know about them. Be close to each other and ask God to help you. God always will be with you. I want to thank the people who followed me. Abarukur Gantunga, Monava Shemiri, Wameva Rimnonga, Bargarwemkoma, Bargabur Hantona. Thank you, friends. It is over there to I said Abam Gamani Mount Mukunda speech I said I have to say something about my children. The grandchildren. I want to thank the friends of my grandchildren. They are all my friends, they call me Kaka. With him, with he calls me Kaka Justin. Madame Justine, I have so many names. They call me. He invited me for her, his graduation. He said, Kaka, you have to come for my graduation. And I had saved for his graduation. Tara was my, she, he, she promised that she would be my lawyer. They were my, they were my support. They were my love. They were everything. <laughs> Zoe, I'll be with you always. Please tell me anything that hurts you or hurt with you. We have a very long abeja. We have a very long abeja. So I'll be very, very brief because uh, she has said all the things. Even I forgot to. Na I woke up as a abagumire na ero bumbere ntarho. Thank you. Now, as she has said everything, but I want to really emphasize one or two things. First of all, love. Love as evidence that has been shown here. Abant wana bari ya mwena. You are not just here formally. You are here in your hearts. So I want to thank you so much. Now, when I was at home, I had telephone calls from Germany, from South Africa, from. I said, what is this? They were just saying, sorry, 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 sorry. I said, what about? They said, you haven't heard? <coughs> and later on, I saw my twin brother, Karazarwe. I think I should invite the people, I should ask the people of Ntungamo, or, or the whole of Ankore, to stand up, just one second, to show how this family is really part of the Mugamba family. Please, you can sit down. So I started reflecting about 1947, when I was five years old, when I lost my, the sister who was following me and my father. I started, I thought about that. Huh? And I was really, really, I didn't know what to do. So, but I was, when I came here, I was very, very, very impressed by the spirit of strength of Paul, Gamba, Devi, my daughter, Judy. I said, my God, what can we do? So I told them, I think this, this kind of feeling should be spread to the children. But I wanted also to ask, and I want to do it now. In future, please don't allow 
these young kids to get involved in these terrible situations. During our time, we were not allowed. I remember when I was even a hospital administrator at Mengo Hospital. When we lost our brother, and my elder brother John Wycliffe Kazora gave me a vehicle to take the body. When I get into my brother's home, Umbuyora, and I found my elder brother and the father of the son that were, had lost life, they were so, so shocked that I had to come with the body. So they refused me to go and bury the body because they said, you are, you are depressed already enough. So these children, I don't like them carrying this memory eh, forever. And it comes, unfortunately it does. But I want, I want to thank you for what you have said. And I want to really thank Paul Mgamba's family. Yesterday I talked about the need for somebody to capture what these people spoke there in the evening so that the young generation can learn from, from that. For us, we have been Batoro and Banyankori. Myself, since 1960, May, I remember, when I was baptized at work. And they even threw a party. Well, I didn't know what it was, but they said, this is love. And from then on up to now, Elizabeth Besbagaya, who must be here, is my sister. Forever, so I, uh -huh. she's there. Forever, forever, even in exile and so on. It's very close to me. We are talking every day, every day, every day. So I want, I want you people not to surrender completely to this horrible situation, death. Don't surrender to this death. It has come, but continue with the struggle, as I have done. So I thank you very much for being here, for the family, for your very close friends that on your heart, instead of just the formalities. Let us continue like this. Paul, Levi, Emmanuel, all these are my sons-in-law because again, apart from just the memory of, uh, of my father and my sister, I also reflected about uh, Emmanuel's uh, father-in-law who became my brother, elder brother in 1958 when I was in Barra High School. And I continue, he was, I was even the one who was allowed to go and access him in the ICU in Mlago Hospital before he passed on. So I would like you to maintain this spirit. I'm sure whether you die physically, your heart will remain in the world. I thank you very much. Thank you, Uncle Eli and Auntie Justina. Uh, before we go to our next speech, I would like to recognize just a few people who are supposed to speak. We have uh, Brian Mwangale and, uh, and Mukama Andrew. One traveled from Canada, the other one traveled from Kenya. They are not going to speak, but please stand up and wave. You are supposed to speak, but we got tight by time. Thank you. These are cousins. I'm sorry we were not able to do the time, but we'll arrange and be able to... Uh, convene together. I would like to invite now uh, Omugurusi representing the grandparents as well, the Rakembo family, to come and say a few words. We'll stand over here so that everyone has better view.
Bishop Waitu Amoti and the clergy, fellow mourners. Um, my name is Bernard Rakihembo. John Bryan is my younger brother. Maybe he's my wife. I've got a message from my mother who's not feeling very well. She was taken to be treated in Entebbe. And she has been staying with Emmanuel and Diana for the last two months. She could not travel to come here and attend the burial and then go back because she's still undergoing tests. She wrote something, a short message, which I'll probably give my brother John to read. Dear Mona's protocol observed, uh, this eulogy is from the grandma of Yurik, and uh, it is written in Rutora, and I'll read it as it is. Kunu Kuraga ko Mukaikuru, Akiki Gertrude Balinda, Wakhem by Debiokan. Amoti Yurik, Mujukuru Wange, Kandi, Munyuani Wange. Oksalirwa kakuingi boja moti okturuga hubwangu hamu na bagenzi vahu. Baitu ni imanya no kuikiriza mukataha okuhireza ruhanga. Ruhanga wanyu hamu na bamalaika. Tulitanga tangana no kusemererwa mugoroba abarungi inyo wakiki o wanyamtoma. No ningo za kutani kani nsima Tu Habana banu I remember Yurik Wakabana Akura He was an old soul He always loved older people He always asked questions He was always very very inquisitive Always no He he, he, had, he was very intentional from when he was young. And he was always, you know, present when you talk to a child and the child is listening to you with a lot of intent. And the guy, I, I remember him, he was always anxious in knowing what you're doing, why you're doing what you're doing. My, grand, my late grandfather loved him with a passion. I remember one story that they used to go to the farm together whenever you refused to come home. So one day, my, my dad, late dad, was old, gray hair, gray hair all over his beard and whatever. So Yurik turned and looked at him and wondered, he said, I've got a question in my head which I want to ask, but I do not want to annoy him. Yurik never, ever wanted to annoy anyone. If he felt a bit disappointed, he'd probably run and hide in a room or something. He never wanted to disappoint anyone. So this time he looked again at his granddad with his walking, my, grand, my dad had his walking stick, old, grayed all over, and he asked him, Grandpa, have you ever seen a dinosaur? <laughs> so he said, this old man must have seen a dinosaur. But he was, he's always grown up like that. And he was serious about his question. But he, at the same time, he didn't want to disappoint him. Yurik was very loving. Bana Bana Bona, Eli, Natara, they were they're amazing children. The hugs, the love that they would show you was so deep. You'd feel them, you'd feel the love. And that love, you can feel it in the Mgamba family. Amotin Subasima Muno, for this, you know, bring up such children. Bana Bagenzere, with Abbasgele, they will continue the legacy, I'm sure. But anyway, you do mutaswaza bana ban. They loved you. I know very well that Yurik had very high hopes in all of you. Mutamuswaza, please continue the legacy. Now, for uh, Diana and Emmanuel, Judy and David, for me, some of us know you sometimes you, you believe strongly in the powers of God. 
And I look at, the, at these children, the way they've gone, and the impact they have made. People from all over the world have traveled to come down here, to come and send these children off. They have made a major impact. They have caused the earth to, to shake. People are calling up to now from France, Italy. The ones who met them were impacted within the shortest time that they discussed anything. Yuri can remember, if you sat with him, if you gave him five minutes, then you're finished because you're going to love him forever. So these people have impacted the world. These people have brought people from all over the world. Diana and Judy, just thank God that you are their parents. Emmanuel and David, if God chose you to give birth to these children, he chose you. He put his seed in you and said, you know, these are the parents who are going to nurture, bring up these wonderful children, these wonderful And I strongly believe that despite the fact that they're not here, they've gone and they'll continue overseeing and praying for this family and the bigger family. We'll always love them. We'll always think about them. They will never leave our hearts. And I'm sure they will never live with Amiro. Their souls will live here. And the family will be definitely blessed. You see, I asked myself several questions when uh, I was told, because we had spent a, 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 the 26th together with Judy, uh, Viola, Yurik, Victor, and, uh, and Jade. We spent a wonderful day in Yamitoma. They came to visit the whole day. We talked, laughed, you know. They left probably like at 8 p.m. to come back because there were visitors here. If they had, had visitors, I think we would have spent a longer time together. We asked about, talked about Ellie and Tara a lot with uh, Judy. Judy is my sister. You, you know that. If you don't, then she, you better know it today. Um, we spent a very long time. On the fateful day, I was at home. Actually, I was still in my room. And they come rushing into the house. I had them shouting from outside, Uncle Bernard, Uncle Bernard, we've come to say goodbye. They came right into my room, the four of them. Tara and Ellie had not seen them during this Christmas season, but they came to say goodbye. So I welcomed them, said hello, offered them some juice. They said, no, we are traveling right now. They look very fresh. I mean, I looked at them and said, did these guys go out last night? Should they go? I said, no, but they look fresh. And I said, you know, Johnny Masses, I took them to the car, and they left. And a few hours later, I got this crazy, bad, bad news. But I believe that they are still with us. And again, I reiterate the fact that we've left a mark. MacGyver and the rest of the family, please follow up this legacy. Do not let them down. That love, do not let them down. We are going to continue praying for Viola, who's in hospital, that she recovers and comes back and joins the family and gets back to her business as usual. May their souls rest in eternal peace. Thank you very much, Amoti, on behalf of the grandparents. Um, I've got a request from the parents to allow uh, Andrew uh, and Brian two minutes to say something. This is very important for Auntie Diana, so we will not refuse her request. Can you come, uh, Andrew, and we'll make it short after that. We will have a song. This song has a lot of significance for Uncle David Mgamba Woli and Tara. This is a song they used to listen to, so he has requested for it. And as soon as Brian and Andrew are done, DJ, I'm sure you have that song ready. You play it on completion, after which we, should, we will hear from the parents.
Good afternoon, all of you. Um, I don't know where to begin. Uh, I'd just like to thank all of you for being here with the family, showing support, for showing your love. Uh, this is a testament to how great and how amazing the three of these beautiful angels were. Um, my name is Brian. I was a cousin to Yuri. He is my brother, my friend, and I'm honored to be saying a few words um, about him and who he was to the family because he was an angel. He was the best of us. Um, I grew up with Yuri, and one of my earliest memories was uh, Yuri as a young boy, always reporting on us. Every little thing, he would dash straight to my mom and to the aunts. So I remember that about him. But what he would do is that he would warn you and tell you that he's going to report you. So he'd give you a few moments to at least run away and you know, to make your way somewhere and hide. And I love that about him. Um, I was honored to watch him grow up and see him through the stages and see all his successes and the milestones and celebrate with him and to see him become the amazing, humble, loving and caring man that he ended up being for me was, was such a delight. Um, I had the opportunity to speak with him on the 29th. Uh, I just happened to have called my other brother, MacGyver, and we were, we were busy laughing about um, life. And we were busy making plans about how we'd see each other and how they would call me the next day, which was uh, to be my birthday. And it's just sad that one of the tragedies of life is that one person's sunrise is the next sunset. It's one of the things we can never explain. But I will always love him. Uh, I will always feel connected to him. Uh, and I will always find a way to try and celebrate who he was. Because Yuri truly was the best of us. Like you've heard my Uncle Bernard say, he was very intentional about his time. He made time for everyone. He spent time with my grandmother, my aunts, my, my cousins, my friends. He would call and check up on you. If ever you needed Yuri, Yuri would call you and, and be there for you, if he could. He was giving and he gave all of him, you know. Uh, and we cannot describe what he meant to us and the impact he had in our lives. Yuri was, was younger than me, but a lot of the lessons and a lot of the things that I know now, I learned through Yuri. And in thinking about him, I'm, I'm reminded about one of... Um, one of the quotes I've heard about living life to the fullest and leaving life empty. And Yuri lived life. He gave us all of him. He gave us joy. He gave us laughter. He gave us love. He never left us feeling that we must have our And I will always love and treasure him for that. To my uncle Emmanuel, my aunt Diana, my uncle David, my aunt Judy, Zoe, Viola, and my younger siblings. We pray for you. We pray for strength. We pray that God holds you and sees you through the sorrows and embraces you with his love and sees you back to the light. We, it's always said that a village raises. I think we can all say that Yuri was a wonderful human being. Ella was a, Ellie was a wonderful human being. Tara was a wonderful human being. And they were reflective of who their parents were and who the greater Mugamba family were. And we just love you. We pray for that our, the rest of our siblings who are here and who are not able to make it, that we continue to support the family, that we continue to be there for them, that we continue to show them love, and just to continue to embrace them through this, this, this time. Thank you so much. Hello everyone, good afternoon. Thank you for allowing me this time. My name is Andrew Mukama, uh, affectionately nicknamed by Yurik himself as The Kid. Um, his mom, Auntie Diana, and my mom, Yvonne, uh, are sisters, so naturally that would technically make us cousins. But after over 10 years of living under the same roof and growing up together and living side by side and experiencing so many things together, 
I'm very proud, and it fills me with pride to call Viola my sister and to call Yurik my brother. It would be easy to say that Yurik had many talents. But what always stood out to me was what he did with those talents that truly made him so special and so inspiring to be around. He was an incredible artist, I'm sure most of you know. As a fellow artist, I was constantly in awe of his devotion to his craft and how he would continually push himself and strive to find ways to become better and to push himself and to see what he could get, just try different things and see what the result was. And if the result didn't turn out to be what he had hoped or expected, he was never disappointed or ashamed in himself or anything. It really, all it did was he would then just think critically about what he did and what he can improve. And that to me is inspiring. He was, <laughs> he was an excellent speaker. Whether deep one-on-one -on -one chats, just random kabozi, or in front of an audience like yourselves, the man could really hold your attention. He even had this amazing way of getting you to be excited about things that you didn't know you were excited about. He knew all the right questions to ask. He knew all the right ways to answer questions, even when he didn't have the answers. The way he said, I don't know, somehow still gave me comfort. His wows when you were speaking to him and he got interested by something were really, they were genuine. Genuine exuberance, excitement for you, genuinely for you. He was excited for you when he gave you a good wow. He really wanted you to feel it. And that's how you could tell you it piqued his curiosity, which honestly was not very hard to do. So in his for us to try and apply in our own lives and relationships, that we strive to be better than we were yesterday, that we celebrate our progress and try to make those around us feel heard and feel special. Yurik was also a man of a few dualities. He was the most, as Uncle Bennett actually mentioned, he was the most youthful old soul I'd ever met. You could find him giggling to himself at the most random, silliest, <laughs> childlike thing, while also wearing a pair of his favorite old, uh, light brown leather loafers at the age of 16, imagine. He was also one of the most stubborn, open-minded people I had ever encountered. Talked to him for more than five minutes about a, a, a musician that he wasn't fully into or very familiar with, and a week later, he's memorized their entire discography, he's read their book, he has somehow managed to be to more shows than was even possible. And yet, <laughs> the stubbornness sometimes would come in when even my mom, who is renowned for being able to get her kids and everyone to be able to do things that she requested, I think she only got him to comb his hair one time. Now, one final thing that I think is particularly relevant um, during this most challenging of times is that Yurik was very much a child of God. He knew that sometimes things that happened in life didn't make any sense, but he would never turn or shy away from God. It would actually increase his faith. And I'll admit that this is something that I've had to remind myself of over the last few painful and confusing days. So I pray that we all find the courage and strength to stay united in our faith and to honor Yurik's life by living and loving and trusting in the same God that he did. All these distinct, unique traits that he exemplified that made Yurik Mugamba, they made him the best man that any of us will ever know. So to the man that would have been my best man, I say, we love you and we miss you, my brother. Thank you. Thank you, Andrew and Brian. Uh, thank you for keeping time, guys. I've given you two that you give us that song. And I would also request that we stand up for a bit. You've been seated for very long. I think your, your legs might need some stretching. Let's stand up, have a quick health break.
Uh, ushers, please bring some water wherever you are. Let's bring some water and pass water through the tent so people can have. But whoever has a condolence message, you can pass it on here. Never felt alone till the late night. Never knew she was my home till the tears dried. Working on the karma, but it takes time. Innocence and sadness was a fine line. Better savor every moment as it flies by. Every minute, boy. Better live it, boy. Maybe someday you'll be happy for me. Oh, I. Every minute, boy. Steady rhythm, joy. The reason I stay. Well, I need you today. Baby, I would bleed in your name. I'm trying to be who you need me to be. I would have waited for you all night to talk for a minute. I sing into the cold, dark night till you listen. People spend their life heads down, souls hidden. I'm trying to be who you need me to be. Well, Never felt alone till the late night Never knew she was my home till the king cried Lost inside the forest but it feels fine Innocence and sadness in the same night All the love that just got stolen from your wide eyes Every minute boy, better live it boy Let your tears roll my shoulder like a cliffside Heavy minutes, boy, steady rhythm, joy, the reason I stay. Well, I need you today. Baby, I would bleed in your name. I'm trying to be who you need me to be. I would have waited for you all night to talk for a minute. I sing into the cold, dark night. You listen, so people spend their life heads down, souls hidden. I'm trying to be who you need me to be. Sit down if you better savor every moment as it flies by. Every minute, boy, better live it, boy. Return me safely, turn me homeward at the right time. Every minute, boy, steady rhythm, joy. Better savor every moment as it flies by. Every minute, boy, better live it, boy. Return me safely, I'll turn me homeward at the right water. time. Heavy minutes, boy. Steady rhythm, joy. Thank you. Tutungire utuma kurugamu kikali. Awo mukama rukera basija. Oyo nyimba kabambi guru. Nituija kuhereza abazire. Because tuja kutunga wire kusoma buwana mubijui. Uh, the, the message from the president read by the Honorable Minister will come at the end. I'm told that that is how protocol works. So at the very end, we shall hear those f the, the uh, remarks from His Excellency. At uh, this juncture, first let me recognize the people from Canada who have come. We thank you. We appreciate you. Thank you for coming to be with us. I would now like to invite parents, first of Tara and Ellie, 
Uncle Woli, Uncle David, and Judy. Uh, please come and say a few words. Good afternoon, everybody. Thank you for coming to be with us today. It's a very difficult time, but the strength I've got from seeing you all here who have taken time to come and, and send our children, our babies, to their early resting place. I'm overwhelmed, and I feel blessed. I feel loved. I feel the love from everybody. I, I can't take this for granted. You're busy. It's so far the road. It happens so quickly, and the, the, they they asked the program to be done so quickly. I was a little bit upset. I was like, "Why are they rushing?" Thank. I, I it's like I know everyone here. I, I I I have a relationship, and my kids, I guess, had a relationship with all of you. Um, I would like to ask the other mothers and Father Jean. Rose, Jackie, Rose, Alan, and they, he, they ha also have so many other mothers, Babji and everybody, to come up here and stand with me. It's, it, it, it's, uh, I'm overwhelmed. I'm overwhelmed. I feel really, I should be angry with God, but I always keep telling people, and I keep telling everyone, it, my friends know. I say, God gave us these children to just take care of them, and they're not ours. They're not our children. I, I should be running around here, maybe with my clothes off, or, or you know, screaming and shouting, but I'm not. I give thanks to God for giving them to me, for loving them, for taking care of them, for David doing everything for them. They never did wrong never ever did wrong in his eyes. And for giving them grandparents like dad and mom and uncle Joss and Jen, everybody who loved them as their own. Uh, my kids actually don't know blood relatives. They, they, everyone is an uncle, everyone is an auntie, everyone is a cousin, and even the younger ones, same thing. They keep saying, oh, is that our cousin? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is that our sister? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I, I'm, I'm blessed. I'm really, really blessed. And David, thank you for all the stuff that you've done for the children. It's been a sacrifice, but you've done it. Thank you. And now I think um, I'm going to overrule the MC today because I'm going to ask Jean to talk about our children. And it's a really, really difficult day. And um, I'm actually supposed to be the stronger one. Um, in the family, Jules and I are supposed to be the stronger ones in the family. Um, I'm Judy's sidekick. I was there for every single child that was born. I was in hospital with her, in Kamzaz, more or less. I might as well have been the doctor, the everything. But from Zoe to Ellie to Tara to Victor and Jed, I was there. Um, sometimes I, I, I tell Judy, that I don't know what David thinks about us, because from that day they got married, we've been in his home. We go to their bedroom, we, it's, 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 I think it's too much, but that's how we are. Um, the day Judy got married to David is the day the Rakakoko and Mugamba family became one. There is no difference between our kids and all the Mugamba kids. There is no difference between our families and the Mugambas. We are one, and we are treated with all the respect of siblings and family. Um, I met Yurik for the first time. He was the page boy at Judy and David's wedding. I was the ma ma I was a what? A maid. They used to call them maids then. 
He was a little boy, really dapper, and his entire life, he's always been like that. The kindest, kindest boy. And it's a Mugamba trait. They're really kind. They're very humble. They, they're very, they just take, th they take you as you are, whoever you are. Yurik was that humble, always smiling boy. The last time I saw him was, uh, was at uh, Podi's birthday. And because he's such a gentleman, and he's so, he was, he's so well behaved, he gives the warmest hugs. Him and Viola give the warmest hugs. So I, I, every time I'd meet Yurik, I'd say, Yurik, I'm going to find you a Mhimakazi to marry because, you know, you are really such a gentleman. Diana, you did a good job. Emmanuel, you did an amazing job with those guys. They are part, I mean, they make us their aunties. There's nothing like blood. There's nothing. They are our kids. When I just think about my Ellie and Tara, it's, it's actually something difficult. When Judy called me, she was screaming, like mom said, and we were coming from Tungamo, and, and I, I just said, what are you saying? I said, stop, no. Jocelyn called me, she was on her way to Buloba. Um, I, I stopped at a petrol station, I was with Zozo in the car, I told Zozo, get out, locked the door, and I started hyperventilating. Um, you know, then Jocelyn, uh, I called Jocelyn, and Jocelyn said, S Jean, stop it. So, you know, I somehow came believing. I called Davy, same thing. Um, <laughs> I don't know. You know, it's difficult when you've seen a child from birth. And then um, I was privileged enough in September to go visit Ellie in Amsterdam, um, Ellie and Clive. <laughs> I don't know if God was saying something. We had made all these plans to go for their graduations. We were going to do a tour of Europe. Amsterdam with the whole family, with Kaka, and I don't know, something told me go see Ellie because we had never seen him in Amsterdam. I went to Amsterdam, he booked me an amazing hotel. He, him and Clive did everything. They, they, they booked the best restaurants. We really, really had a good time. It was a good, I think it was four days. Four days of depth, of telling me everything. They had matured. I went to their apartment and and I'm one of those intrusive aunties I went to their fridge and I said you guys what's in your fridge they had fruits they had eggs they were so intentional about their lives they wake up they exercise they go for ri they ride their bicycles they were in the Amsterdam uh, marathon you know it was such an intentional intentional life that Clive and Ellie were, li were living and I was so proud of them I said you guys you've really grown and it's such a shame. It hurts so much. They were supposed to leave on the 6th, and we were supposed to go for their graduation. Judy and Davy have done so much for these kids. There's nothing they haven't done. They've done skiing. They've done, it's like their short life had to mean something, and it really meant something. I was so proud of Ellie. He's the one person who used to cool all of us, and he'd do it in such a nice way. So he'd come and say, uh, Auntie Jean, hi. You're looking so beautiful today. Um, so, don't you love your nephew? And I'd know that he wants money to go out. <laughs> and, and you couldn't do anything. You had to give it to him. So that was Ellie. Now my Tara, <laughs> Tara is my godchild. Tara, <laughs> she's our fashionista. She is the one person who would always make you feel kind. Meanwhile, all the Mugamba children don't like group WhatsApp. So we have this family group chat. And uh, Zoe maybe tries once in a while. Ellie, nope. Tara, no. Nope. You had to talk to them individually. When they'd see something on the group chat, they'd DM you. And they'd say, hey, you know I don't like group chats, but they'd DM you. Tara had also become so intentional about get When she came back from, from London, she, and I, again, I think this is what God wanted. Wanted her to come back and spend, because she spent a lot of time away in Turi. She was, she was smart. Tara was a smart, smart girl, and she was very, 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 she had like direction. We always used to tease her that she's like, Davy. Everything had to be A, B, C, D. School had to be A, B, C, D. When I, I mean, I went countless times to see her in Turi with Judy. She was my other, you know, she was my baby. And she, you'd see her, her, her board 
had everything, all the universities she, she wanted. I remember when she was, um, I'm sorry, it's taking a while, but um, she'd have, she had these post-its of her universities and what her universities required. Now, when the results came out, I mean, everyone was saying, ooh, ooh, we passed. So we're like, Tara, what's up? Where are your results? She said, I didn't do so well. I said, what does that mean? It means um, I didn't get a, a star, a star, a star, a star. Meanwhile, she got like three A's and a B or some, like some great marks. So I said, Tara, that is amazing. She's, but she, because she was so, she was, she was like, I must achieve at all for whatever. So she said, I might not get into my first school. But guess what? When she was in Turi, she used to do cross country. She used to write poems. She used to write books. She used to, I, I'm sure all her Turi friends knew she was a prefect. She, she used to do all these things. And that's how she got into Bristol. Because she might not have got all A stars, but she was a high achiever. My daughter was a high achiever. We was very proud of her. And I was so proud that she was going to be a lawyer like me. And um, I think she did some internship at uh, Edwin's place. Yeah, she did internship with Edwin, but she, she was also as argumentative as me. When, she's was when she had a position, she had a position. She'd be a Pan-Africanist one time, another time she's this, but you could never get her off her position. So that was Tara. Tara was so loving. Tara was, again, our fashionista. I'm sure now she'd be saying, okay, who doesn't have makeup on? Who doesn't have some lipstick on? But, you know, we loved those kids. We loved those kids every day. And I'm honestly, I'm shocked. And uh, I will get over it. I'm sure time is going to make us um, understand at us and saying, why are all these guys crying? But I'm so happy that, I'm not happy that they've gone, but I'm happy that since God decided, that he took them together and they'll be together. So, um, you know, I'll miss, I'll miss my kids. I'll miss them. Yes, uh, good afternoon, everyone. It's, I think I have to mix the languages as Auntie Justine. I work ninja <laughs> Kwabantu, community outreach, kugonza nature, conservation. Mwagufu, um, kugonza kukio wingi wa kubalizeo, haba amba andizi. Um, banu, haba anaba kawali. These were global children with a local outlook. And we look at ourselves, their parents, as local People, someone called us Abojo the other day, Abojo and Abisiki, with global outlook. So we learned from each other, especially as they grew up. We kind of tried to grind them to the local, and they easily fitted in. They tried to speak the language. It was not easy because of the exposure they had. But we also learned a lot from them. I wanted my speech to be really into two or three things, aspects. But somehow, you excuse my touching everything and moving back and forth. I tried to construct the speech, but somehow my bubble speech is here. But it's not, um, it's not coherent. I didn't find time to structure it properly. We have to do the theme. So my theme was really the upbringing. The mothers have a big role, very well recognized, and you can see many mothers. There are many others who haven't come here. So that touch, of course, complements sometimes the values and principles, which are 
big family maintains. Um, we, we, we believe in a few things. And I think that has helped us to nurture our children. One of those things is uh, simplicity. Not making things too complicated, but being simple and efficient. Um, some of the other aspects, of course, are to do with how we relate with everybody across the board, everybody we encounter. And uh, I saw quite a lot of this as we are being, as we are brought up, to relate with everyone across the board. So it's, these are not new values, but uh, I'm glad they have been somehow inculcated in the children, and they've actually probably exceeded some of us in e extending this love and care um, to the wider public, uh, global, really. Um, it's uh, amazing how much love you have given us, all of you, and it's lifted our spirits. That's what has really kept us strong, and we will remain strong because we are very faithful in our maker. And we know nothing happens without a reason. Maybe the reason is to test our capacity to endure. So I want to emphasize that the hope will endure. The hope of our children and so on will endure. They, their dreams, we've shared a lot of their dreams. And those dreams will never die. They, their spirit will never die. It will remain with us. Murtor ni mangi savano avana, but we just have been candidate to be gireo, not but we gireo. We get hal kurga halivo. We kuru koye koleka okguanza okuli okukimbra hanganda rundi dini rundi. Rundi chikaru chorum, but hona hor kuzoko, hona hor kuba. Na avantu wa genzbao, kuba nororangu numu, numu itagira zangan, mumuli ingo guavu. So, we shall, I believe, we believe also in, always, I always talk to them, a few principles like A, B, C. Always be contributing, don't just be there. And, they have contributed nothing really material as such, although they do it, but that quality time. They, they, they have uh, and, and, and acts of service. They, they are willing to jump up. I will not specify one at a time it's been done, said, but in principle, they, they, they are, their love is enduring, even if they are not here physically with us. Um, I'd like to I'm at a loss, really, to, to reconstruct, and I don't want to go into the speech. I, I wanted those two, those two aspects, the music, because um, these two, the three, were very much into music, um, through the piano lessons, and privately, they would play. Tara, when she came back, she joined the school, which I tried to join with my two sons, but they got too busy this time next door to my, to my office, dancing cup for those who know it. So she was regular there on a weekly basis. And she was changing, she was, now I wanted to move from the piano, go into the saxophone and be a saxophonist. She was into, you know, and she was telling me, but dad, you can do drums, you can do this, you know, Sydney, you can do this. So she was encouraging me, in fact, she had said, please, I'll talk to Camilla, who is in charge there. You can join and do, do the drums, you'll do jazz. So there are so many, so many dreams like that. I don't. I, I'm just speaking a few, um, and I, I felt, yeah, I should do it with Tara. I should do it, and the boys to encourage them. So with the boys, we are going to try and go back to music. Ellie always played by the ear, the piano. He was very good at it by the ear. He would listen and quickly adapt or create his own composition. He, 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 he I don't know. I think someone was right to say he was. He was all rounder. He did actually sciences at A levels. I was probably a little bit biased trying to pull him my way. <laughs> but uh, he ended up more into that trend setting um, aspect. He could do other things. So he, he was very broad. 
and uh, art. You know, some of you have seen his uh, his composition. He has even written an article which I saw it in social media after three years. But he could do he could do a lot of things, even technical things. He was good at electronics. He was good at so many aspects of life. We had uh, uh, so so on the music side. I don't need to overemphasize that they were really into it. Early shared with me my kind of music, because he learned very quickly my kind of music. You know, jazz, African, reggae. I think every week or so he would send me. The latest was Color My Love, 1975. Old versions, my time. But he was into that music, music. So is Tar, so is uh, Zoe, I must say. So I'm just uh, focusing on this. I can't overemphasize Yurik's personality, um, especially when it comes to temperament. He was the guy with one of really calm. Every time, uh, I, you know, I sometimes worry. Someone, I think Uncle Eli mentioned responsibility with these children. But uh, it is a very tricky one. We are trying to avoid the whys and concentrating more on the what. Because, to be honest, um, Viola, I would ask Viola, is it okay? And she was very confident. Everyone around Yurik was very confident about his ability to contain the situation and drive or do whatever. So I have, there's no shade of doubt in my mind that their fate are more fatty, which I share with, uh, with uh, Ellie and uh, family, stoic uh, principles, was really um, set, destined to be then. We've talked to uh, Judy about it. Anything could have happened. They could have been dismembered and la 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 la. We didn't need to see, we didn't have to see Tara's distorted face. I'm sorry for Emmanuel and the others who, do, who saw it. Because my principle again is whenever possible to remain with the person when they were alive and well. I avoid some of those um, situations. But this time it was inevitable. So I'm, I'm, I'm we are looking for those things, courage and strength, and we are getting it from from everyone, and uh, it's very encouraging. So I leave the music now. I touch a little bit on, on the playing, because the playing was part of it, and I'm glad you mentioned it. These children were playful in our way, and uh, of course that element is, is important for children. But I, I mean, I, I regularly, Lately, since Tara came back, would go to Rugogo to play tennis on Sundays, and we'd play. She had that fierce competition, and you know, she'd go for it, whatever it meant. She was so much engaged just, uh, in everything she she did, um, and really, many people can attest to that. So, um, in summary, I'd like to just wind up with the serenity prayer. Um, we pray, we, pray, we pray that God grants us the serenity to accept that which we cannot change and the courage to change what we can. These guys were change agents. I forgot to mention it. Tara actually was a change agent, clearly. If you went to her bathroom, she had all those Sankaras and what. She used to do her, her revision and work at Sankara, a new place in Ugolobi. Very regular, on a weekly basis, very, you know. And uh, so was Eli when it came to some of these discussions, as you have seen in his uh, article. Very, very, very much into that wider aspect of real change, which brings real development and progress. Nothing to do with material things, because, like I said, they didn't need that. And we still, con I mean, we, be we do not believe very much into that. But we believe in creating a, an atmosphere where everyone feels happy and good to go, even if we are not necessarily expressing it in obvious ways, like you know. There are different aspects of expressing it. Sometimes it's very much in town, we are happy. And um, yeah, so finally, the wisdom to really know the difference. And uh, I'll, I'll stop here. I think. There's so much that I can say from the mind thought. The, that uh, the points I came with um, within my mind, but uh, yeah, we are short on time, Mr. MC.
Thank you. Um, I'd like to say that uh, I'm sorry sometimes they also do this, but after we do send off our child, we send them to a resting place, we just take off. Please stay so that I can say hello to you people and just thank you. We thank you. Uh, the parents, those are the parents of Ellie and Tara, Uncle Davy and, and, and Judy, and the mothers and Uncle Alan. Thank you very much. Uh, maybe I could just say two things first. I listened to Jean, the judge, saying that Tara was very bright. This is definitely without a doubt. And she said that Tara was argumentative and she hopes that she was hoping that Tara would be a lawyer like her. I just wanted to clarify for Jean there is a difference between argumentative and quarrelsome. <laughs> so whilst you are quarrelsome, Tara was argumentative. <laughs> so there's a slight difference there. Um, that said, I would like us to, if you may, imagine what these parents are going through. You had your children on Christmas. It is the first. You're going back to a house and they are not there. It has been very difficult talking to, I talked to uh, Uncle David and Uncle Manuel. They're my friends on top of being my uncles, but we're friends. And uh, you are at a loss. Because when I heard this, you say, what, what do I say? What's appropriate? If you call somebody, what, what do you say? Sorry? There's nothing as redundant as the word sorry in such a situation. I understand. You don't understand. Unless you've ever lost a child in an accident at that age. You cannot understand it or even imagine it. So I would pray, I'll ask that we keep these people in our prayers all the time. The request from Judy is coming from a deep place. Stay around. Apart from those who have blocked us, if you have blocked, please, you can go early. But the rest, stay around. It is therapy for her. It is therapy. Because this has happened. And Uncle David has already found the wisdom to accept it. So you just have to go through the therapy of making sure that we feel in, stand in the gap, be there, be supportive, as you have already been. Let us keep that going, because where these people are going, it's not a very good place. Uh, I would like to invite Uncle Emmanuel and Aunt Diana to come and say a few words. You can come with some people for support in case you need it. And uh, we will have two speeches after that from the head of house, uh, Justice Uncle Paul, and then the condolence message from the president. I think this time I'll be, I'll be, I'll talk, I won't talk much, uh, so I'll leave it to the mother, who is really very important for the day. We to kwanza kwa viona ni kwanza kwa ramutia, kwa yomuta, kandi semeri wa metuma yaitu, aweka yaitu, kwa naitwe, kandi kuweleka kila mwone kisembo eki wabunyuani, hatarifundo wabunyuani, wabulikiro, but true friendship. Nikiwa simi na mukama mono, tikiri kia itu, talinita wa kita andikiri, pukabu yaba zaire wa itu, na wandi nitunihira bija kuongira wa. Nimba sima mono. Kande nyingira ituena, utanatugenda maiso, mwusi mono. I think it's the most important thing is about friendship, which has definitely been revealed here. I take this opportunity, because through friendship, when uh, the tragedy really took place, it took us very much unaware. And it was, it was through friends that somehow we could handle this situation. Um, I'll just give one, I won't make a speech because, a long one, because Devi, we grew up together. Uh, so I, I, I know he reads a lot of my thoughts, and I'm sure a lot has already been said and uh, shared. But just a few things, mainly of thank you. Um, 
just as it happened, I was I didn't know how to handle it because I just mentioned to D. It's the only one I, I mentioned to that we have a tragedy, we have a problem. And it was very straight. This has happened. I only knew about Yurik. Yurik has died. He's the driver. The rest could survive. Good chance. But I'm going. Let's go. So anyhow, I just got her wherever she was and uh, picked her and we went straight away. While I was there, someone I least expected, but of course, friendship and family. He happened to be there. I don't want to mention the names, but they know themselves and they are very special to me and they remain very special to me. They were there. He was there. Because I didn't know how I would handle Diane. Uh, okay. He, he mentioned the name. I really don't want to go too much. It's part of the family. It was actually Captain John Kasami. I don't know how he got to know. It must have been through Diane because I only talked to Diane. So Diane must have mentioned to Podi and Podi mentioned to the rest. Actually, that's how it follows. The next was Abulius. How to handle it? The person who was already calling me without me even uh, having any knowledge of it was uh, William. Honorable William Biarang. But William remains William. To me, it's this William I've always known. Same William. Then, immediately after that, was the situation that I could handle at the mortuary. Who was there? It was Makongom. Makongom was there, just in time. I don't know how, but he was there. And they took all the decisions that we had to. And uh, so I really thank through Podi how she made the network and it all happened. Everyone was there. I was overwhelmed. So it was a big comfort. Of course, the medical one, I didn't know how to handle it also. But who was there? There was a Puli through Puga also. So everything was managed. And uh, I think in that special, I should recognize also Joseph Okia. Because Joseph, I called, is, uh, actually, these are the only two. It was Diane and Joseph Okia, I called. So Davy, of course, the rest went and wanted to confirm. But it was mainly through the two. So everything was done fast in the, t the most efficient way I could, we could handle it at the time. So I really thank God for that. So I have no regrets. Um, just one or two things. I just don't want, I know these children so well. They hurt me. A lot has already been said. But Tara was the creative one. She was very creative. I looked at her, and I think I remember Uncle Paul mentioning that I hope you are the one to take me to Las Vegas. And really those were her hopes. She was a creative one. If you wanted life in the home, if you missed... Uh, Early, there was no life in the house. So he was a vibrant one, very creative one. And of course, lastly, there was uh, Yurik, who was known as uh, Uncle, Uncle Yurik. So that m means a lot, I, and I stop at that. Uh, but for me, i just been thinking about it. I didn't want to make big speeches, but I was listening out there, thinking through what is all this. So I'm convinced there must be a purpose for this. And uh, I think as a family, we shall sit back and fulfill some commitments which have been made. Uh, there have been a lot of discussions, particularly this holiday. I wasn't here most of it. But a lot of discussion that went on uh, between Yurik and Devi. So a lot of plans they had, and mainly for this home. I, I think we shall definitely ensure that they implemented. We always remember them through that. And uh, whatever they've been discussing, uh, I know. What I make my commitments I made, mainly to Ellie. Ellie happens to have been born on the same day. We are actually, we have the same birthday, and we celebrated the same day. And he has my other name, and in the same initials. He's called Ellie E. Winnie Mugamba. So you know other, my other name? So I'm E. Winnie Mugamba. We're the two Winnie Mugambas. On earth. So, okay, there I have to handle it for the rest of the life. Um, but this was really, I don't know, that's life and I have to take it the way it is. And of course, there are a few other things. He was here for two months. He had a lot of plans. And uh, I think by the time he left, he ensured, he wanted to ensure that I do within my own business circle. And uh, that was, he always laughed at me that the structure I've been having at the company is that of uh, 1990, 30 years ago. So he had restructured. I don't know how to implement it, but it has to be implemented. I think 
with my fellow colleagues, I think these are things uh, at the company. Uh, you see some of us are aging out, but I hope it will be implemented in memory of Yurik. I think that's about for now. I thank you. It was really something we are very grateful about having friendship. Uh, I really thank you. I've had some very responsible people. Now, the community we have here, and of course, as David mentioned, the whole global community. We thank you very much. The rest now to my darling, D. I, uh, I will start off in Vitoro because uh, um, I have a lot of people, the Guigamiro family. Avant bona banya ku izire hanu ni ni mbasi mamu no ku ije hanu ku sendekere zava na baitu. Nywe na baliyo ku nimbaro. Nywe na muebale muno. I would also like to thank everybody who has come here. I have I am overwhelmed by the love you've given us. Our friends, I can see my people who I have never seen, my cousins for a long time, my uncles, my relatives, um, my former schoolmates. Uh, I've seen a special Gayaza group which has w walked in quite late. I, I saw you. So I am really overwhelmed. I did not know that uh, um, I mean a lot to you and that you care when I get a problem like this. Yurik was a special uh, child growing up and um, he was a special child growing up and uh, he had, um, he, 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 like they said, he, he was an old soul even right from the time he was born. Um, he, he would uh, say very, um, uh, if we, if let's say we were right, one time we were riding, we were driving, uh, you know, um, early in the morning, and he's sitting behind. I didn't even know he was listening, but uh, we tend to raise up arguments a bit. Our voices go up, and suddenly this little man pulls a finger, fr a thumb from his mouth, and he says, "Hey, will you please give me peace? I need peace." And what was the peace? He wanted to sleep in the car, you know, have a good sleep. He really valued. So he was a little old man even then. So he slowly progressed, and uh, um, uh, this is not anything to color bias to anything, but I'll tell you, the, I'll recite something about Yurik as he was growing. He, um, one time uh, we were called at the school uh, um, uh, by the parents, and uh, they said we're having a problem on the school bus. And uh, there was a young, uh, uh, his friend, it was Yurik's friend, uh, he was white, and uh, they said he's calling us black monkeys. And so they said, this is not fair. And the parents were saying, why is he saying such things? So Yuri jumped up and said, I have an answer for you. And they said, yes, we want to listen to you. He said, I don't think this is a big problem, because when he says black monkey, I say white trash. And then he said, and then we're even. And that's the kind of man he was. Um, he likes eating a lot. This is the last one. I mean, I have so much. Um, whenever we used to, to drive to him to school and, and we got to uh, the, the, uh, the tower, the Queen's Tower, um, there was always chicken smelling around. And um, so he would say, I don't know why, mommy, I'm really feeling greedy of chicken. So his language was also, you know, different, <laughs> greedy of chicken. So I uh, did drawing, and uh, he was very good in art. Um, his relationships with his friends was very serious. So like, you know, many of his friends, I'm sure, are here. He has a special friend, Michael, uh, Michael uh, Luvega, who is here. Um, I am touched that you have made it here, Michael. Thank you. Um, they grew up together, and uh, they had a, shared a lot of jokes together. Actually, one of them was when these two guys were put in, there was Nawal, Yanosh, I know them all by uh, of name, Sebagala, PJ, many friends of his. They could be here, I don't know. So one time uh, he comes up, this is now international school, uh, we're trying to, so he comes up and he says, Mami, do you, do you know something called Kasumba Vyuma? 
I said, what? <laughs> I think it was Michael or Sevagala or one of them. He said, they, they said there's some, something called Kasumba View, man. It comes in the dark. And then he said, one time they went to the cinema. And I think it's Michael who said, hey, can you hear Kasumba View, man? In the <laughs> I can see you laughing, so you must know this joke. So this Kasumba Vyuma is now a rat. In Utoro, of course, we say Kapsomba, you know, the, the rats. So these are the things he was learning. Um, this is about his school and growing up. And uh, he drew pictures. He drew pictures. He drew my face. He drew my face doing everything until I was almost hiding. He drew cartoons. Uh, but this was all part of his development into the final architect uh, that he became. Um, so after this school, then he went to, uh, to, to university, and he, this was in Canada. And what his second mother is my sister Yvonne, so made it here, and uh, her husband, Mukama. Thank you, I really appreciate. And uh, Auntie Pamela from the US, who has also flown here, uh, Pamela Kasami, um, all these people, he was meeting as he was out there uh, studying. I really appreciate that uh, you have made it here. In Nairobi, um, some, like I said, I've seen so many pe here, people here who I did not see for a long time. I've seen my brother-in-law, Wycliffe Mwangale, Edwin Mwangale. They're all here. Um, they've traveled all the way from Nairobi because they knew Yurik from birth. Yurik was a special uh, man. So. Um, when he, don't look at your watch, this is not too long. So, this, uh, he, he, he started, when he started working on all these places, he was so generous. He would buy me gifts, and he wouldn't even buy them for himself. Um, these cool shades I'm wearing were from Uric. Um You know, he, he, he brought me things, and he wasn't doing it for himself, but he wanted me, which I'll try to keep. I'm going to see him as alive. And um, I didn't mention something that these two boys who are here, Yurik and Eli, were both named after their grandfathers. Eli after his grandfather, and Yurik was named after my father. Um, he was who was also Yurik. That, um, so that's how they get their names. Um, it's not a coincidence that they're, they're probably together now and happy. Um, and this, uh, I, I was reminded by my sister, Margaret, Margaret Kumuro. She said, do you know how strange it is that these two boys were grandfather names? Yeah, yeah. So for the last, uh, these two last months, um, he came and he, he, he was staying with us and he was working remotely because he was working in, uh, in Angola. Angola and Germany. So he decided to stay with us. And one thing, uh, this is not some kind of premonition about his passing or his resting. But one thing that I can uh, recall is that this time, he was very attached to us. He had his flat in Bugolobi, but he did not want to stay there. He was staying with us all the time. And uh, you know he was very close to us. Um, so this must have meant something. And uh, everything he said, he was a bit more serious. He was now an eligible bachelor who was looking out for somebody to marry. So maybe I, th I attributed that to, you know, for his calmness. He was very calm. He was thinking of investing in his life and serious investment. He would have serious discussions with his cousin, uh, with Dennis, with Sam, with all these people. So he was really growing up. In, he, he had become a very mature um, human being. Um, when they went to Fort Porto uh, for this Christmas, he told my sister-in-law, he specifically said, you know what, uh, I, I really wished mommy was here this Christmas. Um, I don't know why he said that, but he even said, you're really not coming? I said, I can't make it because of ABC. My mother wasn't well. I think of all these things 
but they do not put me down. I think you can see I'm very strong. And I remain strong. Um, so on the day uh, they drove from uh, from from uh, Fort Porto, uh, I kept up with them, and uh, they called me because they made rounds to seeing the relatives. And uh, Viola, as usual, was asking me, "What is Auntie so and so in Paco? I'm forgetting." What? So, so I said, oh, when will they ever start their trip? So they were moving around and uh, seeing their aunties and uh, their uncles. And uh, then they took off and I followed them and uh, they were in Mubende next. So I said, good, they have arrived quite early. I had a few things to do. I came to Kampala, fortunately I was closer. And uh, so I, uh, then uh, when they reached Mitiana, Again, I was getting calls. They were asking me for, for the, ho the name of the, the hotel where I normally stop for, uh, for, for, for a short call. So, uh, because, you know, you can't stop everywhere, you know. Um, so I said, I can't really remember the name. Uh, but that was the last I heard from them. And I, I was really looking forward to seeing them and, uh, you know, meeting up with them and uh, hanging out with them, like they say, um, because this was... I hadn't been with them for Christmas. So then while I was in the mall, I was in Oasis Mall, I get this call. I get a call from Emmanuel and he said, this car, that uh, Viola's car, what is the registration number? I said, why? I wouldn't, I don't remember. I'm not good at registration numbers of cars. Not very, not really, not at this age. So anyway, I didn't say that, but then I, 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 I asked, I asked the, the, uh, somebody who normally drives their car, and they told me the number. Because he said, quick, I need that urgently. And I could hear the urgency in his voice. Um, so I said, uh, this is the number. What is the problem? Have they had an accident? He said, the driver is dead. And I knew the driver was Uric. And uh, so I was in that mall. I tried to touch a number. I, tried to get the phone, I, I was lost. I couldn't find my car. And I said, what do I do? And he said, three of them are still alive, uh, but they're in critical condition. So my mind went to who is going to be saved. Uh, I need to attend, Yurik is dead. I need to attend, but I have to scream, Yurik is dead. I mean, we've lost him. I mean, it's hard to believe, but this was it. So I, I, I said, okay, what do I do? We need an ambulance. Who, what, what? I, I quickly called Podi. She was the first. She's the first who got the news. She was screaming. Um, next, I think I called my sister Margaret or in Entebbe. Next, I was, you know, one by one. So immediately the ambulance was sorted and Emmanuel said, should I come for you? I said, I'm on my way there. We met and off we went to Maloba. Fortunately, there wasn't too much traffic. And uh, I, I'm sorry that I haven't said this in Rutoro because there are people here who may, but who may not uh, understand. Um, and this is, I, when I talk, it's my therapy. When I talk about this, it's real and it's my therapy. So when we got to the scene, when we got to the scene, there was lots of spectators, the car, I do not want to talk of the condition. There was a who was running to the car and he said, the bodies are here, we take our bodies. Look and uh, see them in their trousers, in their clothes, under that, those seats on the patrol car. Um, you know, and what do I do? I've lost my chance. Nobody cares, you know. We're two of us. The ambulances had not arrived. Um, so I said, where are the people who, I did not know, who I knew the two boys are there, but I wasn't sure now who, where is the person who survived? Nobody was giving me any information. Tetumanyi, Munyambe, Tumanyi, nobody, everybody was throwing their arms around. So somebody said, I think I, there's a girl who, you know, who had, you know, hair and this, and I, she was taken on a border to where? Some clinic. Where? Help, help. So 
eventually, um, I, I, I jumped in the ambulance. I got to the ambulance driver, and uh, we drove, and uh, we found uh, the surviving uh, patient, and who was my daughter. Um, and uh, everything else followed, and she was gasping and all this. So all this, um, a bit one lesson learned here is that um, you know, for these accident scenes, this is the same thing. I myself have saved, have been in an accident where we've saved in a similar position, a family uh, of my close ones, and and it was Viola and Yuri who had to th be thrown out of the car, and we ended up in a hospital. And same thing. This is not once. This is an another incident. Same thing. And there's always this commotion. And, but when is it going to change? So we need to think, all of us together, and say how. Can this be changed? How can there be quick action, you know, faster? Maybe people can be saved, you know. Had we not even followed up with this one person, uh, it could bleed to death, anything could happen. Um, that is one lesson learned. Um, for Yurik and my relationship, um, he always called me Akikiwange, you know, he liked Rotora a lot. He would forge, forge it, work, you know, he tried the languages and make errors, but he would still speak Rotoro. And uh, very well, actually. Um, so he used to call me Akikiwange. And uh, right now, I would like to say, Amoetuwange. Nyimanuwange. <laughs> I haven't finished. I haven't finished. I have to talk because I'll never get an occasion like this with these children. I did not mention something about Ellie, um, which touched me be and about his character. When we were young, I would take him visiting uh, and we would go to see my aunties. On this particular occasion, we went to see one of my maternal aunties, Adieri in Wengoma, uh, she was still alive. And uh, so she, his, Ellie was following everything I was doing, a little boy. So I went down on my knees, and he did too, and he never resurfaced. So he stayed there, they tried to pull him up, and he kept his head down. I think he thought it was some game or something. So, <laughs> But that was Ellie. Ellie, Tara, goodbye. We shall still live with you and stay with you and live with you physically. Um, I wish I could stay with you. And please stay. Don't go. This gives us strength. We kind of divert and we think it's not real. But it is real. I think we have drawn some lessons, particularly also for myself. Um, at times, I think we are too structured, and uh, I think uh, we better learn from that. I'm sorry, at times, I think I have to change our ways. There's a lot more in life other than, you know, looking at, you know, the way you're running a business or a project or something like that. Life is a lot different. We thank you. Wasima, Azeriritu, Amotina Kiki, Kandin to Wahimba, Musara, Tungera Kubasavira. It cannot be easy. Uh, Ningoza Kumanira, Musuga, Umkuru Uganda Rababito, Akiki Charles Kamrasi, Nawizire, Akiki Wale Kujak Zikabanabau. I will now invite the head of the home, Mgusiwitu Justice Paul Mgamba Moti, to come and give his eulogy. Abarugonzi Winuena, Ombitin Sabiani. Mutiomuno, Okuba Naitwe, Akasumi, Nkakano.
tugulu murundu guo kubanza kandi tugusobora kuba guo kumalira mu bana itwe wa mukusemererwa no mbusaliza mutyo muno okutugonza i welcome all of you on behalf of the family thank you for the love that you always show us in times good and otherwise This week has been very sad. I don't want to go into the details because those details have been given. Uh, thank you for coming. Two things can be learned from this past week. Two main lessons. The first one regards life. There is no tenure, certain tenure regarding life. A child may be born today, gone tomorrow. Someone might be put in the Guinness Book of Records for living 120 years. All those are mortals. What is certain is that time comes when each one of us must go. And only one person knows that time. That being is God. So, with our human effort, we try to work out, really, this one has gone very early. This one has gone a bit late. But let us not strain ourselves. Let us believe that that is what was ordained. And I think if we agree with that, we shall find peace in our hearts. But what does that mean? While we have this life, let us use it to the fullest. Let us use it to create relationships. Let us use it to work together. And don't, and let us not hunker after simple things, material things. Let us care more about values than value. Because m most of us go for value. Ah, this is the latest model, this is, you know. Those are nothing, it's just a metal, it's a piece of brick. That's nothing. What is important are the values. What relationship do you have with other people? And you people have shown us. I think this is a good example of how people can be together. We all find happiness in warmth. Thank you very much. Uh, that is about life about love, I have talked about love. But what about happiness? Where is happiness found? It is found when we are all together. Now we are not happy because all of us have lost these children. These children, our family had the stewardship like one said, take care of these children. But those children belong to us all because what they would have done would have been for the good of us all. Let us always have these things, these matters, take them into account and I think we shall have a better society. Thank you for coming home. Thank you for always being with us. before, after this ceremony, the family invites you to have some refreshment before we part. Let us cut bread. 
I think I don't have to speak uh, vernacular. Many people have gone to UPE. <laughs> Those <laughs> you can you can interpret the, for them. Thank you very much. May the souls of Yurik, Eli, and Tara rest in eternal peace. As believers, not long after now, we shall be meeting in the next world. Thank you very much. And le le let me add something else. They have gone where deprived of them. They had started taking roles of leadership. We shall miss it because this, uh, this holiday we were with them and they actually worked on the program for our entertainment. That we shall miss. But we are comforted in the fact that others will not let this go by. They will take over and carry out as we hope. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you, head of the home. Maybe one, la uh, one thing I can say about uh, Justice Paul Mugamba Moti, he talked about values. This is a man who lives his values. Many people tell you about values. They tell you how they love Jesus and also many stories. But you just have to look at Justice once. He espouses what he says and what he thinks. He's a true person who lives his values. And this is something that was, has, has also been passed on to this generation of values that have been instilled in them are very strong values. And we must thank the Mugamba family for this because they're not building from the Mugamba family alone or even for Toro, but they're building for this nation. These are people who are going to add value to this country. So we thank you all. Uh, I'll request that we get the message from His Excellency in the same vein, I would like to uh, welcome all the cabinet ministers who are here and the members of parliament. You are so many. We thank you for the time you have spared. Uh, and we, we thank you for coming to commiserate with us. I will now hand over to Honorable Jim Hoyes. Uh, thank you very much. The bereaved family of the Mugamba Justice Paul Mugamba, Emmanuel Mugamba, David Mugamba, and your wives, the in-laws, Honorable Erwa Kakoko, and the family of Diana, Honorable Ministers, Honorable Members of Parliament, my Lord, the Bishop, the Generals and Officers of UPDF, the ambassadors, the civic leaders, ladies and gentlemen. The president has learned about this tragic, tragic death of the children and sends messages to Justice Paul Mugamba and the Honorable Wakakoko and all the family of uh, Emmanuel and David and Judy and Diana and condors with you. He sent a message. Uh, he learned that you have already come to Fort Potro. He's saddened by the death of these young, young people. You have talked about their attributes, young as they are. And indeed, they had a future, great future, for this country. So the loss of these children is definitely a loss to the country. They have already impacted us. The fact that, as you, everybody said, during these holidays, everybody is here, which means they have attachment to these children. 
young as they were. You know very well that you don't have to live for 100 years or 90 years to make an impact. Great people live a short life, but the impact is great and lives on. The example, the one who is most popular, as far as I'm concerned, is our Lord Jesus Christ, who lived for 33 years. But the impact he has left on the world is here. You can see we address big people, but I have to address his lordship, the bishop, because he represents Jesus here. So, hearing, listening to the eulogies about these children, they have already made an impact. They are talking about relationships, values, how these children did not distinguish between relatives. Everybody was an uncle. I'm sure in their Uganda, when they are in charge, we shall never have problems of sectarianism, religious sectarianism, or tribal sectarianism, because they look at, at the value of each person. Already, because of their death, we have been debating on the cabinet, what do you call them, platform? Chat, there is a platform where we are. Already we are debating about the accidents. What the government must do to mitigate this carnage we are experiencing on our roads. These people died because a trailer lost control. What caused that was the car in, danger, in dangerous mechanical condition was the driver, a young boy who may not be qualified to drive a heavy commercial vehicle? What was it? So we need to do a lot. And this is an impact. These young people who have lost their lives, they have made, together with others, of course, there have been many accidents uh, uh, around this festive season but they have made an impact. I thank and condole with the, the Mugamba family. I know them. I knew the family through the Kasami family. Even before our children got married there, but they are good people, very good people. So no wonder they raised these wonderful children. It is very sad, but I thank everybody for coming to share with them this uh, terrible uh, time of loss. The president has contributed 30 million shillings to assist in the funeral arrangements. Thank you very much. Thank you, Honorable. And please extend uh, our heartfelt thanks to His Excellency. I'd like to invite Mr. Rubungoya Arali to give us a quick summary of some of the messages we've received. Very quickly, two minutes, and a bit of additional program. Thank you very much. I assisted uh, Dennis in this uh, task. We've got very many uh, messages. Allow us to recognize a few of them as a representation of all the messages that came in. And especially that some of them had money. We want to give that assurance that the money has been well received. And in due course, the family will recognize the people. So allow me, there are messages that were sent on uh, phones 
and we were busy collecting them, and so we could not pass them on to the MC, but allow me. There's a message that came from a cousin in Canada. Uh, we uh, from Canada. Uh, I'll get to that. Uh, yes, it is Harriet and uh, Dark Mock from Canada. They've stayed with us, the, 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 some of the children here. There's a message that came from the Dahende Chires, led by George. They also sent a wreath. They insisted that since they couldn't be here, it's made mention of. There is a message that came from the Shem Bagainis, their family, their friends, and there are messages that came from a number of places. We agreed we are just going to read a few, rather recognize a few. Nyakasura School, um, Nyakasura School, Yugasa Coatings, uh, they are commiserating with Judy and David. Um, I've mentioned uh, Honorable Slivia Rwabuho and the very many members of parliament who are here. You're recognized. And thank you very much for your support. There's a message that came from KCB, and there is a message that came from the Church of Resurrection Bugolobi, where uh, Devi and Judy Kwoze. And uh, the others will pass on to the family. But just to assure you that your messages have been well received and they will be duly accounted for, especially where their money is in there. Thank you very much. And before we hand over to the church, would like to kindly request you that uh, the place for burial is rather very tight. It is the family, the immediate family that will go there, and we would like to guide when that time comes. And you can see before us we have three caskets, so the task before us is enormous, so we pray that you uh, bear with us. The screens are working, so you can remain in your place and follow as the barrier is taking place. I would like to appeal to the media team, some of your screens are not on, kindly ensure that all your screens are up and running. And now, ladies and gentlemen, uh, MC. Sorry, before we hand to the church, uh, the parents have requested that these, these are friends from Germany, they were friends of Uric, and they are, they are following us uh, online. So we have Lona, Adrian, Rene, Clement, Sean, Nasir, Emanuela, uh, Malai Karuyondo, Pia Nyakairu, and Claudette Mukama, and also uh, Afande Katumba Wamala. Thank you. I would like now to hand over to the church. representing the Catholic Church.
looking at them and how they were hugging us and uh, cheering us up, we could see the Mugambas in them. But now looking at, uh, at them lying before us is sad enough. It is bad. It is devastating. A lot has been said about them. Such wonderful souls. They lived their lives like comets. Grown warm. And they went when we needed a, lo a lot more of them. And here we are sending them off. But are we hopeless? We are not. We are not hopeless. Because we have the faith. We have the faith in our Lord who assured us that there is life after death. And I'd like to comfort you, my elder brothers. I'd like to comfort you with that faith that these wonderful children are dead, yes, but they are alive. And we shall meet them. That is our hope. That's our consolation. Our Lord assured us that there is life after death. There is life, there is light after the darkness of death. That's why we are sending them away. Not weeping, we are crying, yes, we are pained, but we have the hope, as many others have said. These three children, after listening to what has been said about them, I have no doubt they were gifts to us. They were gifts to your family, gifts to our society, gifts to, you, to, to our country, and gifts to anyone who met them. But we can't be selfish. God who gave these gifts has taken back. Let's allow, allow him to take back. Let's surrender them to him. Let's surrender them to God in hope that we shall meet them again. And death is not the end. That's all I can say as we send them off. And I need to make appeal to government. Can we enlarge our roads a little? Can we enlarge our roads a little? You never know. We could save some life. May God take these beautiful souls to rest in peace. Once again, we thank you for all condolences, message which comforts uh, the family. And now I ask all of us to stand up and sing him when I survey the wondrous cross as we prepare ourselves. On page four, as we serve to hear the word of God from our Lord Bishop.
Ndio mukama wetu mwenye sura tayari ukumbira mzoga tena na mukama wa kusonde kerezo mbili ya bana wetu arugiye mu mezi wense yenu tusima mukama cyane afite ukurikireke no kuhana hayihi kandi tusime mbaza za rugaho na bihagamu habana wetu twaka sumu kama mukama wa bana wetu ndabyo cyahe kuza zaza kumzindaro ndabyo cyahe cyane cyo kutumuza no kutugumya no kutonya kutekaneza kandi kasaye na ito gode hikira tuza bana wetu hikire tuza bisubwa mu isugawe ibari yatu nikandu gizwe Yesu Kristo mukama wetu amen bana mwitare Take your seats. So, we must now take a nisa. We must thank the Lord for our coming. 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 Ba ministers ni nyuma na mnyakorobo ba members of parliament, ba bokuwe tu watu wa mnyakorobo humkurubwe, ba bokuwe na kujenga zamanga be kanisa, ba wala mnyakorobo hano, ba sasa dote mnyakizi mu kamu ndoku muziki yano, na ba kanya wao mwa ya kanisa, mwa ya ngi nyanya kwa mnyanya wake yano, mwanza kuchia ugani la kuitu, ali nyuma amoti Paul na amoti Emmanuel na Walden na bachiara kuitu, ba genzi ba ba genzi mnyakorobo humuira ba na ba genzi ba mnyakorobo humuira abo, ba rugara ba bivita ba bivita kati inlaws be kano. All of you bagenzi bangi ni bagani ni bagani ya kandi basi ni tuna banya kuzi kusema ikeleza no gumi yake yano, na specially mzoto kani banya kuzi kampala kampala chaplainse, everyone kamara kani stand up everyone kamai kara kampala ogu, everyone kama wall kara kampala kuwa everyone kampala unua baya hano kochi Abraham, na ogu kara kampala tu kumsi mikaya kwenye abantu hicho ni kwa tuo ni kara kampala, na also Edinand Robina kunehira na una tira kwa wau ogu. So we are going to come for the photo, but we are going to come for the connection of the Kampala Chaplains. We are going to come for the photo. So we are going to come for the photo. 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 So we are going to come for the photo. 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 Abana baba gengine wanya kumui na sasa sisi not easy tuki tuki lakia tuki lakia kwa jamii mukabio no tuki bero so ni sababu ni wana wanyani baba gengine wanya jamii zake yenu wanya buzali ni wana tuki kani sana tuki gumia really we can't say much tuki kama baba gumia tuki tuzi hano kwa mimi hamu ni wana kani wagon baby tuki kwa gumia mbele ni juu za majob tuki kwa 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 yubu job chapter one verse eighteen twenty twenty one yubu na wakatunge bzu actually abana baka kwa mengine kiroke mukubwa na bafu yana bafu inta zafu inta zafu Ibi ni tibi bi 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 a siskar, baito yubo hobi hamu ya kula makuru maji ya kugonka, akagamba nguel, mukama kampa, mukama hiraho, baya mukama lisim. Sangu chigambirwe, abazi ya baba na baba vuganda rono, mukama ni tayari kwenye baito, abasata ni kuhumire, Tara, Eric and Ellie, mukama ni tayari, hata sime kwa humuz. So tuikirize, ni kwa sime ra chakwa tu huzuni kipsembo, utamu kwenye garura. So mugumi, we are here ready. Mugumi, mugumi, mti kani, mti kontain it, accept it, mti bayiraho. So kiringe sana angwa, mti kiris, mti kuchibaya kiti, kani mukama na kuasi mirat. Msiima mnyo kusaikire kiano, kuonyere mire mno kuhaya kusaikire kwa rubu mti kani sasa kuasiima, muto mno, kumehane kiano, kani ujisaidika, kani mwana mnyo kushakia mirua, kumeni siba kushakia mirua yere, wosu wantuishi, ha, shizeshi, kwa hivyo mukabi, mnyo kwa hivyo, kushakia mirua shizeshi, so mnyo kushakia mirua na wogo. As this congregation, we want to wish happy to have him. Come at the end of the day, at least I'm speaking as a girl. Who to now we will be able to serve him. Come on, come kiss him and sing. Can you call Kigambiru and take care of the father? Kigamba Musinir, now I'm never minister. Kigamba Ho, really, and what to hang good. So we want to serve all road users. I want to call saying good. Oh, we're gali, we're pikipiki, we're motoka, we're all a bassy. Let us use these things responsibly. So I'm talking about talking in good condition. We are regarded by Pikipiki. We serve around to Bogo Missis Hangood. We are border border. We are the police officers speaking, making a report. We are border border. We serve around to many of our fire. We are talking about Missis. So I'm talking about 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 so we are going to have a festive season, which is unfortunate. So we are going to have a festive season, which is unfortunate. So we are going to have a festive season, which is unfortunate. So we are going to have a festive season, which is unfortunate.
and kusabu kundi ni tekaga police traffic department. Na yantu kisabu stricti, people should be, be given very puni punitive what? Punishments. I want to forbid like a girl, but I have seen the criminal again. Matoka yavaro dingi, I have seen the criminal again. Na kutikiri kirungi, na yungia kuyete a change na yipini tarugudo, na wanyo nula kore yensobi, ni mpare senza mandekea. So I want to traffic uh, police, uh, forang baba strict, I want to kore yensobi hangudo, ba koraki, I want to have a few people who have been in the country, 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 I was there to support just about a week was a limit, wow, vernacular, the mother tongue. Who want to go and you're talking so called Mike and one of the two, I could take your own, you can just because we need to respect our culture and, 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 and what and tribe and language. You want to go limit what was Uganda, the two young Korea, Chiga, mother tongue. Naki kids were Saba was there with Kara Tampala, Naki Munjo, Korek, Nahero, I wanted to beg you to go back to the Wabu and Zarwa, a watch Kuru, a Mutu Kalis and Harukuruga, and Ruxiz with some Kitinis. Thank you, Mgonza Kibazaha, thank you, Mbigufu, Kankila Ukizaha. Mbanyo nyo kiramu nubazebintu nubabantu wa soko tabisi, mwa yutu nchi. Awa kazi, basiriswa, kiyonka basiriswa, kusiriswa, thank you, mwema tiki kilungi mwema. Mwema kwa kutekeleza, msoko wa nyo outdated, kwa mwema 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 nyeki, mwema yutu nchi kintekeleza, mwema saidi ya kusiriswa, kwa mwema wange, mkisanda kina kwa kusobeli. Na wiki ya kisagika, na wugabe kisagika, kwa nyo wugabe kibazaha, mwema Kuna kwa hivi sim, kuna kwa amazima ni geta ni saga gama, amazima gal bitter, tena gal bitter, bethu sana mungu sija sisi sio kwenye mkuu ya sisi sio katika mbagani ziri nka hao, yake mukite kile zeyo, mungu ndege kwa zako anki zeki kani ra hano, ba hivi mungu ni ya familia ni kwa zeyo, mungu ni ya kwa mungu, mungu ni mungu anje kwa zaza, mungu ni kaka zinara onka yena, mitega tare kipe kia kuki na ni yako sobe, yake mukite kile zeyo kio, wamei sabu rugiendo, tuna kima lek, okay, la kati mbazi tiga mbe kile cha gamba. Okufa, actual judge Paul Amotu wa Chigamba, ngokufa kwa wabili mtu wenu. I want to also say the same. Ngamba, all of us should be aware of the fact that whoever is born at any to die. Kwa wakaziru wabu, wakiki wakufa. Wakaziru wabu, wakuzeleki, kufa. I want to abandu wa gamba, and timely death. Ngusama, ngusama, wafiri wangu. Iyo ni, who does the timing? Is it to you or some other person? So ni tekeza ngunto wala wafira kwa zeki, wafira gama ngu wafira wanga, wafira taka hikire, mekisana ngu ina temu teba kuwera wafiredi, na kuwere, wafiredi. So hiki okufo kuwa iroho, kuwa iroho, the point is to ikali tuko zeki, kuwe teka nizi. Let us prepare ourselves to know that any time we can die. Kiku ikali gembu wange kyo, ngu ni nisua kuwe sanga mfira kasumi, kuhon. Ewe gambe bimitu sanga om Luke, the gospel of St. Luke, chapter 13, verse 35. Yesu na gamba la beja suwabe, kwa tuko zeki, kwa teka nizi. Na gamba Luke chapter 13 verse 35, Luke ha, kume sifu wa sinitande gamba, mwe tege gomonda, zaanyu, ne tabaza zaanyu za kege. Nanyo mwe kalegi ya nkabano, tawa tegeleza mkamu wavo. Walegaru kukuruga, umbugenyi, gobugole, wabualija, na iranga, wa mkingore huwa wangu. Nime nina zaari, tuwa chigambirege, mama witu wa, chigambirege, mkisuna kuzati kwa teka nizi. Banyo na mugisa, awe wa wabu wale, Mukama wabo wa lija, alewa sanga ni warora. Mananuko ni bagambira anti, alietego munda, alewa ikaliza, okulia, alija wa kubahirezi. Kanda wa lija mkistimuka kia kiro, kia kabiru ratha, runti ya kasatu, na basanga balibati, banyino mgisa. Betu kilu mkimanyi, kusangwa nyeneka ya manyire, akasumi musuma, akari izramu, ya kuroziri, okutasiga enjuye, okulimwa. So ya bagambia vyesu na kabagambira abantu, wakati teka nize, kakotu kumanya na agarukadi, tizani tufadi, so in the summer we should repent of all evil. So that when time comes for us to die, to gain a tukalim kifwa kiyoha, ya Ibrahim. Roku mkisabwa kwange, kufa kunu kwa wana wetu wa sato, nikikoleka nguwa kasumi kuna mtu na hafa, na so kufa, nanyo kisema, so kwa sa mimbazi hani, sa nyanyisha pulikia ntaroho, kufa kwa mtu weyana, but the only insurance against second death is accepting Jesus Christ as your Lord and personal Savior. Obo junwa, you have insured your life. Nkwa kwa urufu ruizi, nkwa kwa ruizi, kwa mwoyo kwa guli safe. So samba gambi anti okufa kuli kwe miningevi. There is physical death and spiritual death. Physical death is compulsory for you, but all of us shall die. But spiritual death is optional. You can choose to die it or not to die it. Yes, wa kaize, that's the reason of Christmas. 
Kwa sababu akaja kumara wake kufa kwa kabiri. Jafa hapo itu wanaona hapo itu ni kwa tunu somezo utawao. Na wiki ukufa kwa wana wiki basatu muka munu once again kifuwa la tingi tumane mgo wile wane nito nsoksa kwa sanga tuko zweki ili betu kia alivo mezi tuwe jarukemu tuwe kwa asia skristo kwa tujune kani ya tugumi. The other text mbona zako wazawa quickly Elm Romans chapter 8 kituwa niruege abarumi ya sura mnana wakala wa sitina itan kandi paulo na gama kiki kituwa ganizo na hugonzo kwa kristo Ibugambi ngoza kutusuma na wa zaire Na wagenzi wa wana Wana nyukujua wagenzi wa avo Kumaya ngoza kutusuma kwa kuizire Kutusuma kutusuma kwa wagenzi wa wana kwa wana hanga So, abarumi Romans chapter 8 verse 35 Mbutuwa nchigama ngu Arahal tuwaganiza Mbukuwanza kwa kristo Bujuni For example, hampi unabujuni Bujuni Tuwundi mhito Tuwundi kuhigani zivwa Tuwundi enjara Tuwundi okuba kuonka Tuwundi akabi Tuwundi empirima Na kwa kia handi kiru yangu Hawawe tuitwa okuiza obuire. Tukatekezewa nkientama ezo okuitwa. Wa 37 negama ngu baitu omwe bibiona. Nsingura kimu. Omogo ya tigondeze. Baitu nyo nye tegelize. Nye tegelize kimu nti. Nobu kwa kubo kufa. Nobu kwa kubo. Nobu kwa kubo bomezi. Nobu kwa kubo wa malaika. Nobu kwa kubo abu sobozi. Nobu kwa kubo ebiroho. Nobu kwa kubo ebigenda okubaho. Nobu kwa kubo ebiamani. Nobu kwa kubo okuraiha. Nobu kwa kubo kuhama. Nobu kwa kubo etangwe kini kioni. Tibi sobora okubaganiza itwe. Mkugonza kwa rohanga. Okuli wa mkristo yesu mkamo itu. So, ebi zivu nobu la viroho. Ebi zivu viroho ntuferwa. Bwetetu kusema kutubaganiza nobuganiza kuoha. Kwa rohanga. Nobu kwa rohanga. Nobu kwa rohanga. So, ebi zivu yotu anga tanga na mbuwa mezi wawo. Nkwa mkwista ya nkwa muntu. Bwetetu kubaganiza noha. Nobuganiza kwa rohanga. Mchara. Bebi ya wale gambia bae rohanga. Na nasoku wa mbihiriwa. Itu tene chokora. Mtu amazi kukumana wako zeki. Hukumi just accept it. Mwanyi yesu wale kumpu wabano. Wabana wale kumpu wabano. Mpere viona. Kibu hiroho. Tumazi kubwa. Kibu hiroho. 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 So hati wusanga bili bisuzi bukolaki bulunga bigenda kwa hivyo kuziki bisuzi. So rohanga kuja kutulenga na kupimu kujiza kwa hitu. Kwa hivyo kizuru kila kizuri na wisema kuyo kila mwoha wa Yesu Christo. Hakuwa na kujana kwa agenda hiru wako tukuja kutumira hivyo tingi. Na wiki ni mbesa ingeleza kwa wanyo nevangi family enu kwa kustai raitu. Kwa kizuru kiwa iroho. Beti kusema kutubaganiza na ugonza hawangi. Sati mungia kumugondeza kimu na kumuira haihi. Hakuwa na mujinu waitu. Yosa kaiza na kutungo gomezi In John chapter 3, verse 16, it is a common verse, all of us, I think you know it, but that is the message I want to end with, the message of hope. Ngo kufa kuro hego, yati yeso ki amale sire, niko kuro ya maraho kufu uko mwoyo, yati kubo mezo utahwa. So, John chapter 3, verse 16, Yohani, sati kuna mkari, ni maliriza, the end of the last quotation I'm making, na yaga mango wa itulu hanga, nuko ya goneza ati ensi. Na hayo omwanawe ayazewe omwenka, and that is Christmas food that we want to remember now. Omuntu wewe nanya kumwikiriza ale ko kubura baita watungo bwa mezi utawa that whoever believes in him shall not perish but have everlasting life this physical life is lasting bwa mezi bukoraki wao but i believe that christ no come in anyway okay garuka mo kagamba tamiro kagamba siyana kagamba suno kagamba mipanko buli waite kanzo bwa mezi utawa na weki ni bagona za kagaruka mo na yigana bagenzi bange mute muno kwija kutendekereza abana bwita nya kumwire na wali kukugumi ya kano kwa mera hamuna neki yanu. Chiyo nka tuwe garukia mtu junwe. Kufa tukuinaki? Bah. Tukuina miaka, tukuina mdoma, tukuina mgezi, tukuina mgura, tukuina munaku. Ituwe na tulio nyama yaki, nyama yaruo. Ituwe na tulio kufa. Ituwe na mgisa wanyo kupera nkaha, omuka moitu. So yeso kutumikiriza mazima, tuwe garukia mtu, kutuwe jaruko gonza. Nuko mkama ugu wali sima, tuwe tabe siwa. Yeso ni chiamli si, that is why you celebrate Christmas. Yeso wakaiza, to reconcile us back to the Father. Atu gara halioha, halisitu. Tuwe garukemu, tujune, hauko rufu roho, wile wona. Tuwe na saha, tuwe na miaka, tuwe na any, to the respect of nobody. Kutamutinisa mtu wena, nso kutuara. So, the only sure way to prepare ourselves for death is to repent of our sins and accept Jesus Christ as our Lord and personal Savior. So that when death strikes, or emyo yetu ebele safe, nukono yoha, ya mkama. Because this is your own insurance. The insurance yetu, against second death. So yeso kutumikiriza, kutu kumugamba kuonka na kumisenda kuonka, hata mitima itu, na kukufa ukuliza na kukwa abana wetu kwa izi na kukuliza ito later, tuwe katuja abe sigwa. Tuwe katuja abe sigwa. Tuwe katuja abe sigwa. Today's me, more is someone else. Bana wana wa genzire, nyesha na geno mtu wane. Betu taka genzire, tuwe katuja tekani tuwe garukemu, nukurufa ubiza, mkama kwa tukumuze mbusingi. So ni malizi tuwe kugamba vinu, 
moto no mchara, wole no mchara, moto ni nekawe kieno, bantu wa mkama wagenzi wa wagenzi ya wanawa itu, please, mkama wa gumye, haba humuze, na family ya yona, the friends who have traveled from all over the world, na wale kuiza, kutu mkama wa gumye, yesu mwikiliza na mbele muli yoko, mkwale hangi vya hukonza, na kwa rufo uliza, kutuara, kutuzoka tila besugu. Nibigambi evyo, tawela kumio ya wagenzi wa itu, Yurik, Tara, and Eli, mkama wa humuze mbusinge, kamenya nyoku ni mkama wa kusagereho, ni mkama wa gumye, Mwe sige ni makini ya chavala biyamu. Nibigambi evyo, kamote ikaru na imi. Daka tusabe, tusimia muka mwitu mwini suko tuhe ya kwa mwena mzigati enu, kwa mwena na family enu ya mwagamba, kwa gumi ya imukama kwa wantu, na kwa humuza imukama. Kwa 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 wana basatwa, kwa 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 Kandi yeka usinge wikala ni angonzi kono kuatanazo wikalemu Kandi wana wito wafumuze mbusinge Na ito wa saibu wakai wa hito kila yonotia ambayo turugiri Na wana kusaiti reke na kwa mwana wa mkamba watu yorumgisa Yesu Christo mkamu wa hito Amina Kandi wana 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 Kisito na mwana mwana kwa yonotia wana 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 Kasumi ya kukwayo FCM wabiyo kuimkira. Ninyiza kusaba grupo yeti ya kanizivo kusoroze FCM. Yero hiruguru waho. Nebiyo kusoroza mwiti ya kanizivo. Ntubhayo. Habo kuimkira bagenzi vaitu. Ninyiza kusaba piligure mkwaya netu ebembera. Nekizina. The crust is the sword rock. On page five. Deni habo kusoroza FCM ni marabamu. Ndaka tuwanze, when peace, like a river, page five. Haba kusoroza, ni marabamu bateka nizivu, wabali ya ruguru woku, mpayo hivyo kuikira vya itu. Mkuru wa Ashaz, mwito haba Averisembo, Avoli, Margaret Muhanga, Tuni kumanyo wera boroho. So, tumaru mkoro kwe tsembo.
Kolekte na sente na wakubara muangwe muije. Our treasurer, Jessica Sami, and uh, Charles Rumanyika, also you, wherever you are, please come close by. space down so please we can only take a maximum initially of 60 everyone else will come after so we would have wanted everyone to go at once but because of the, the, the space constraint it's going to be difficult so please be patient we will just go with the immediate family first and, uh, and the in-laws and then the rest of us will come in just after uh, the direction we've created the path you will go round following the choir and don't come back. You go, uh, the exit is to my right. There will be ushers there. So we do not have a backflow in the middle. So you come, you come in one way and then come out the other way. with the reeds, the girls for the reeds, please come, let's start taking the reeds as well. I 
time if you see any keys around you, someone has lost their car keys. So if you're near car keys that do not belong to you, please bring them to me. Somebody has lost their car keys. So just look around your area. If you see keys that do not belong to you, just bring them to me. Thank you. You have my audio? Ah. Uh-huh. 
Western over the ground is sinking sun. Over the ground is sinking sun. Yurik, Tara, and Eddie, Eli, uh, when I was at the Gonzewa, when I could feel it, the Kwahurem to me, I will meet Taka, Mitaka, Mitaka, Ijo Mijo, Yachucho Mucho, to me here, to my Kimu Kuro Kumoka Mezu, Tatuwa Ruhango Hamuna <laughs> Awo kuganyira isa mkama waitu Yesu Kristo. Nwe kumbuka nobuwa mezi. Kanwe na nyakumuikiriza aliomera. Nobuwa raba afire. Kanwe na nyakuomera na muikiriza. Talifu ebiro nebiro. Kanwe ya tuwegeseze. Omukuenda we arukwera paulo. Ntuleke okuganya nkabanta watanyina okunihira. Ahabuwabo abaguijagire omuluwe. Tukwe sengerize nobuchulezi ayisitwe. Otumule. Otumbule turuge omkufa okobsisi. Tuhike hali obwomezi obwokikira. Nubo obtuliruga obwomezi buno. Tulihumura tuti omuruwe. Mkoku tukunihira mwene waitu, vene vaitu. Eli, Yurik na Tara. Obahumuire. Kandi hakumbuka kwekiro cha hampero. Tulirora mkabasemire omaiso gawe. Kandi tulihabu mgisogu. Wabana bawe, abo gonza muno, walgavira, umana abo gonza muno, walgavira bona, abo kugonza, nwa kutina. Na agamba ati, muije abana vaisenyowe, abo kugisa, muhabwe, obu kama wabatekaniziwe, okuruga, okuhanga ensi, otue eki, tukwe sengeriza, isitu, okuganyira, omu Yesu Kristo, omu tonganizu waitu, omu chunguzu waitu. Nima, mbabazi. The <laughs> Yes. 
Sala Baguno, at Fuchuman Oito, Yurik, and the Kum, we are going to Miss Vincent to take on the seat, a Roman and a Moyer Queer. Amina. Abakta hobo akiombanza muri nde hukake turabagambira We are seated. Servant Marizum Corogono, to one of the Cosimo Camu to Munu Terezaman of Santa Keraza and Rabit, Vincenno, Tara, Yurik, our Hibom is Vincent Ray Mukamans, one of the Cosimo Mizuavo, the Mirocese, or Musumuno, or Nuana Vernava against Vavo, the Vavo, one who has over here to Cosimo Ray Mukama, and you will take Kayavo, Cosimo Mukama. Nambiriwa <laughs> Because it's Thank you. 
felt alone till the late night. Never knew she was my home till the tears dried. Working on the karma, but it takes time. Innocence and sadness was a fine line. Thank you.